Yeah, but there shouldn't be any. Hello, everyone, and welcome. We're here for another Marvelous Monday, uh, or Marvel Monday. Monday. No Marvel uh, today, but we are going to be looking at Flesh and Blood. It's a trading card game from Legend Story Studios, I believe, out of New Zealand. That's right. Uh, this is a small uh, publisher, a small game that's happening that came across our kind of our interest, you know, dashboard, whatever you want to call that. A uh, very bizarre way to say that, but it it, uh, it was kind of like ah, it was actually James. So James is watching on the stream right now on Facebook. James Parsons runs a great shop, um, Sapphire City. Is that right? Gaming parlor. James, correct us on Facebook if you <laughs> I don't know. can. I think it is that though. And I saw that you had posted something about it, and so then I was like, well, what's this? And then uh, flesh and we kind of talked about it, and then. Uh, Flesh and Blood, in some capacity, reached out. Ian, I think, is his name, or Yane. I can never tell if it's like one of those old, you know, old English names, or if it's just like yeah, kind of a more I don't know either. Uh, standard, I guess, boring name. Uh, reached out and was like, "Hey, we'll send you some demo material if you want to check this out." And we said, "It's got cards. It has expansions. It seems right up our alley. We like these games." So we said, uh, "Let's check it out." And here we are, doing it live because that's kind of how we do everything these days. Since <laughs> we'll we do got live. all the equipment to do it, we'll just do it live. Yeah, I came in ultimately knowing very, very little. We talked about it a little bit a month or two back, but then it came in and we opened some packs and we're just kind of looking at some cards. And then this weekend, I watched uh, kind of a how to play, and, and I read the manual. That is. <laughs> In character for both of us. Uh, but, you know, watching it, and I, I'm going to allow you as the reader of the manual to guide me through this no. learning experience, but I got a couple minutes into the video and it was like, hey, this is actually like pretty intuitive, very simple, but also feels like it has quite a bit of depth. So it seems to be hitting on a lot of the things that we dig. Art's good. Yeah. The and art's good. I mean, it's it, we've seen a lot of games come through where it's clear that they didn't have the budget for the art. I don't know what Legend Story's into, or if they've got seed funding or backers or anything like that. The quality of the cardstock is great. The graphic design is good. Um, the art. I mean, it's some uh, some of these I could see on a on a modern you know high level collectible card game. Yeah. So that's what I mean when you just look at the art. Bring like, it on. Uh, Bravo Showstopper as an example. Uh, is the character that I'm going to be playing, and this is, I believe, we have the the four starter packs here, yeah, which is really starters, really so you nice. Can see him here. One thing do I really do that overhead. Yeah, Thanks. you want to hand me the one for Bravo? I want to check it out. Yeah, there. Let me just see him. So uh, one thing I really liked about this packaging, outside of the packaging looking good and these being nice little starter decks, is on the back, it actually like this one is a guardian, and it kind of gives you a little one paragraph. Okay. It's both flavor, but you know, if you've played games for a while, I think it's like guardian, ninja, warrior, brute. Okay kind of what you're supposed to be doing? Does it give you an idea? Yeah, that's, it, I think, uh, <laughs> to an extent. I haven't played it yet, so we'll see. Uh, but these, these are nice little starter boxes. Check this out. This says 60-card warrior deck showcasing the reprise mechanic. Mm, so mine says 60-card guardian deck showcasing the crush mechanic. You have crush. Or I have cr You have crush. I have reprise. Intimidate on the brood, of course. And combo on the ninja, of course. There we go. Combo. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, yeah, it looks good. It's an uh, expandable game, which we dig. We've played card games our whole life. And it uh, seems Still like it's friends, if you can believe it. crazy enough. I don't know how we made it. <laughs> uh, but it, it also seemed pretty intuitive, so I'm excited to play and learn. Well, let's kick it off. I think we draw uh, cards equal to your intellect down there in the bottom left corner. The blue stat looks nice, so we can draw four cards now. Right. Um, I don't know if in competitive play there's a mulligan. I didn't actually read anything about it that I remember, but we'll figure maybe, that out. Probably. Okay. <clears throat> so I assume you'll be going first. I'll, go, I'll be know, the first. You know too, how yeah, this goes for sure. So the way this is going to go is we're going to have. I'll, I'll read you through kind of the 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 phases here on my little uh, hero's handbook for the Flesh and Blood trading card game. Let me regale you with some turn structure. Uh, start a turn phase, any start a turn effects uh, end. OK. So you might expect that, or until the start of turn effects end. So that would be the refreshing of the turn. Uh, if there's any triggers on the start of the turn, they're added to the chain and resolved top to bottom. OK. So I, and I believe the active player chooses how they stack up in any instances. I remember reading that. Um, if there's nothing in the chain and nothing to resolve, then it ends. And so, do you have any start of turn, uh, start of turn things? I don't think so. I have once per turn and actions. Okay, those are not start of turn. Okay, that's great. And then we go to the action phase, and that's when all the action's going to happen, as you might expect. The active turn, uh, the turn player gets one action point. They refer to it as the turn player, which I like. So I, okay. it's whoever has the, you know, is the taking their turn right now as the turn player. So it's going to be me. I gain an action point. 
and then anything that says beginning of the action is going to trigger, and there's nothing there, beginning of the action phase. I don't have anything, you don't have anything, but we might have things come out that do that. Uh, and then I can play cards, and then once we pass in succession and all the chains are resolved, then it goes to the end of the turn, at which point uh, those triggers happen. All the cards that we used for resources are going to go to the bottom of the deck, so that's cool. That's different than actually discarding them. So I'm thinking, like, if I discard a lot of good late game cards for my resources, then I will actually see them late game, sure. which is a nice way to kind of even out some of those draws that you see in other card games. Uh, a lot of stuff's going to go to the graveyard, and then uh, we draw up at the end of our turn to our intellect. So I'll draw back up to four cards. It'll go over to your turn, and that'll be it. The, the back and forth structure is very much kind of like the spoils and the magic stack and all of that. It's kind of first in, first out, I think. Or last in, first out. Is that how they I say it? I think it's first in, first out. First in, first out? No. I think it's the opposite. Last the in, first out. Of that. Yeah, yeah. Last in, first yeah. out. Yeah. So we'll do that thing and we'll work through it. And we'll build a chain and everything will be exciting. Let me start. All right. So we started the game. Everybody comes in, brings a hero. You get a weapon that you start with, and then all of your equipment that you get to start with, too. And I think it's a really cool thing when I'm thinking about deck building in the theoretical sense. I haven't actually looked at it. But when I'm thinking about, well, what gear do I want to bring with this hero, it, it feel like it gives me a lot of potential to really nail down a certain kind of build that I might want. Sure. Um, kind of like if I, if I was a Netrunner and I could like start with a console and play. It's like, oh, I get to like very much be this kind of... Uh, hero this game. Yeah, and I imagine it's cool because you can tweak and build heroes in various directions based on the armor and weapons that they're bringing to the table. I agree. Okay, now we got to do some reading. Um, I've got an attack reaction, so I can't play that. I can only play a reaction, so I'm reacting. Okay. I've got an attack reaction, I've got a defense reaction, and I've got an item, which is something that I can play uh, for an action to put it into the arena. Or I could start swinging. And you know what I'm going to do? Swing. Swing. Do, you have your, do we have the hero names? Yeah. Here we go. Dorinthia Dur Ironsong is who I am. And you're doing Bravo, Bravo Showstopper, Bravo Showstopper. Right? I like James in the comments said that it was Gaston with a hammer. Yeah. Because I was <laughs> quoting, this guy reminds, makes me feel like Gaston, which is totally true. Yeah, good, good uh, to note, James. So also, because you'll be using probably defense cards on your first turn, you'll actually draw up at the end of my first turn. That's the only okay. time that happens. But then otherwise, it's just the turn player that draws up at the end. That's correct. Okay, yeah. cool. Because you could see how that would, like, and I dump my <clears throat> card for, for defense, you and said, now I have nothing to play. You said we each get one action point? Yeah. Around? Yeah. It's anything that has, says action. So once per turn action, once per turn effect is not an action. Got you. Um, anything yeah. in your hand that says action. So you get one of those, and a lot of times that starts a chain of activity. And presumably, we could get more somehow. Presumably, you can get at least stacking actions. You can't ever get, like, two, three, four, five. But you can have something that says go again, and then you immediately get one action point again. But you can never have more than one yeah. action point. And on your turn, you can basically just play cards, because those don't necessarily take actions. Like Correct. you could add cards to the chain or whatever Anything until you're that done. Anything doesn't take actions. Yeah. yeah. Let's get into this, shall we? Right. I'm going to start by uh, using an attack action. So this is one per turn action on my Dawn Blade here. Dawn Blade here. It says one resource to attack. So okay. I'm going to take that action to attack, and I'm going to discard... Mm, up I see. to a I card. See. I need to generate one resource. I can I can pitch a card to generate any number of resources. I have to generate at least one. So I'm going to pitch an energy potion because it seems like that's a good thing for potions to, to be used for. In the top left corner of the energy potion, it's got three little pips. Okay. I, that's the max that I've seen. So that I'm just going to use these little uh, chain counters to generate three. And these are basically resources. Resources, yeah. So the value, what's the name of that card? Energy potion. Energy potion, yeah. And it's got three resource icons. And I believe resources. the color yeah. bar along the top also is connected to that. That's right. It's got a blue bar across the top. And so the blue is three, the red is one, and the other one is two. Yellow? Yellow is two. I don't two. have any in my hand, but I think it's yellow. Good. I didn't want to reveal my hand either. Uh, so this one <laughs> is immediately used because it must be used for this Dawn Blade. I'm just going to put it up here. I feel like that's what the yeah. game wants me to do. Chain link one starts here. There, where we go. Uh, so it says if Dawnblade hits and it's the second time it's hit this turn, put plus one counter on it. Okay. You need to know this. And then at the beginning of my end phase, if it didn't hit, I remove all plus one counters. So every time that it hits a second time in the turn, then 
uh, it's going to basically get stronger. Okay. And then if I ever don't hit with it, it's going to lose all of that momentum. So I'm trying to like build it up. Okay. Because Dorinthia Iron Song's ability here says when your weapon attack hits, you may attack an additional time with that weapon this turn. I still have to pay for it, but I've got. So I, I don't want you to hit. Time. And it's got a the Dawn Blade has a three attack, mm -hmm. like you were saying. Mm. Now get ready. We're about to go to the chart. But this is pretty crazy because if you hit, you get the counter. But if you don't hit in a turn, hit all the, the counters go time. away. I have to hit two times in a turn to get a counter. I only have to hit once to bring. But the Dawn Blade could get pretty epic. It could get epic. Yeah, that's my job to not let that happen. All right, I'm going to now flip to the chain advanced section of the. All right. Uh, the compendium. Called it, called it the menu. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just going to run through this here because uh, look at how much there is. It's a lot. But you know what? I mean, if you're developing what is essentially a, a fancy computer program for a game on paper, like, you kind of got to know how all of this stuff works. Whew. I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> That'd and, be enough to send me. And then here's the simple one. <laughs> the, so the graphic version, yeah. Here's the attack step. Now, I can immediately try to kind of buff this attack with anything that might matter to me. So the first phase of this, though, is you start here yes. by using this thing. So I've declared that thing, and now we do, do the attack step, and that's an action card has developed an attack. Okay, makes sense. The active player may play instant cards or instant activated abilities as additional layers on the chain link. Is there anything instant on the board that matters to you? Well, it says you could do it. I can't do it yet. Like this Merchant's Hood says instant, I can destroy it to draw a new hand. That's cool. Uh, when both players pass priority in succession, so none of us have any instants, then everything resolves and we move on. Okay? Okay. I did it. Hmm. Then the defense step. Players do not get priority during the defense step because it's just you. You play all the defense cards that you want, and that's essentially the okay. end of... Okay, so are you doing anything to this? What we need. Not yet, but okay. after this, we'll go to the reaction step, where if I have any attacking reactions, I can buff it with those. Okay, so now I can put down defense cards. That's right. Okay, so I'm, as an example, going to put Cartilage Crush, it's the blue version, down. Uh, it's got a three defense in yep. the corner. That's, so all you, that's all that matters. You don't have to pay for it, nothing. Yep. I'm just, just putting it down. Now let me look. I'm, now I could keep going. Yes. You can keep defending, yeah, forever. I, I want to be careful, because like, if you have a reaction that boosts it, that would be, you would sneak past me yeah. and get a hit in. Yeah, what up? But if I overcommit <laughs> here, you obviously won't boost it for no reason. Yeah, I'll but just I leave have it to there. hit to get a second attack going, or else you just stuff it, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah, leaving it there? How many cards are in your hand now, two? Three. Yeah, I don't trust it. Got two resources sitting over here. Got you right where I want I you. I like the cards in my hand, but I have a feeling they're going to go away. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Then we have the reaction step. The attacking hero can play attack reaction cards and activated abilities. The defending hero can play defense reaction cards and activated abilities. So attacking hero has priority, and I can play attack reaction or instant cards here. So let's build us a stack. What do you think? Do it. Okay. I think I will. How about... Ooh. Ah, yeah, get some of this. Zach, <laughs> how about oh? What do you got? So someone's saying he can't attack again because he doesn't have go again. Oh yeah? Do I need oh do I need to like make that happen too, at the same time? Like with these old refraction yeah bolters or like in your chain somehow? Okay, that's totally fair. So I can attack again, but I still need an action to do it. That's fair. Um, how about? A That's interesting. stroke of foresight. Target weapon gains plus three. It's a warrior attack reaction. It costs me one, so I'll spend that now. And then if the defending hero has defended with a card from their hand to this chain link, which you have, draw a card, then put a card from your hand on the top or bottom of your deck. That's the reprise. Uh, That's the keyword. reprise keyword, yeah. Okay, so now you're at six. I'm at six. Compared to my three. I can keep playing here if I want to keep going, or I can leave it there. And I'm at six to your five, so I'm and going... I'm a three, right? You're three, yeah. So I'm going to pass. If you want to play, you can. Mm. I will pass. Okay. So I think now we resolve it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. That's how this works, right? Okay, so uh, this gains plus three, and then uh, defend it with a card from the hand. With the chain link, draw a card. Put a card from your hand on the top, bottom of your deck. Okay, good. 
Ooh, that's a great, that's a great one. And then I'll put this one on the bottom. This thing goes away. Graveyard, right? It's resolved. And then we calculate six to three, three damage taken. I'll take three. And Whoosh. we're done. Closed. And this goes to my graveyard. I think so. I think everything from here slides over to the graveyard. Right on. Did that, does that make sense? Yeah. That seemed easy enough. I'm curious, though. Uh, so you, the attack took an action. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Once per turn, action, attack. And then it says, at the beginning of your end phase, if Dombley did not hit, etc. And then this one says, when your weapon attack hits, which it did, you mean attack an additional time with that weapon this turn. So usually it says once per turn action. Mm. So I can technically do it twice per turn, but I think what we're saying is I would still need an action point. Yeah. So like if I had go again, I couldn't use the Dawnblade again because it says once per turn. Got Does that you. make sense? Yep. Okay. And then we go to the end of the thing. And the, I... Can't you put something in your arsenal? Yeah. We both draw up, but before that happens, if my arsenal's empty, I can put something here that's really important. Ooh, but you ha it has to be a play card, right? Yeah, so you can't use it to like put shields out for your defense, but you can play it if it's like a defense reaction or if it's an attack action or anything like that. So it it would have to be. I'm just I'm trying to find a card that I could play it. This one like is a really good example for me. Like I've got a warrior action that I'm putting down here, and it's good, but I don't think I'm going to need it for a while. So like, I couldn't play Cartilage Crush there. You or could I? You could. Uh, you just couldn't drop it out for a shield. You could use it as an attack action. As though. the action. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. with it. And okay. you can use it to generate And I can't resources. put something in my arsenal because this is your turn. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. correct. But I do draw back up. Yeah, that's right. First turn, you do draw back up. All right. All right, so there's back up to four cards, and then it passes over to you. All right. And I have one action point. All yeah, right. so I see the bolters, everybody who's saying that, but um, I'm not going to waste them now. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather battle warn, get minus one, and then destroy them, right? That makes the most sense to me. What's your character's name, Zach? Uh, Bravo Showstopper. It's Bravo, comma Showstopper. Uh, maybe maybe attacks hitting is actually really rare. I just assume I'm going to be hitting like every turn. Yeah. Well, we'll see, I guess, right? Maybe not. All right. I... You've got to spend three to, to swing with that hammer, huh? It's not cheap. Yeah. Weak. Man, you got, you got money everywhere on your cards. Like yeah, you gotta, so you gotta the spend Bravo it. Showstopper's here? ability says, uh, action, spend two. Until the end of turn, my action cards with cost three or greater gain dominate. Go again. So the defending hero can't defend with more than one card. Whoa. It's dominate. Okay. And it has go again. So I can spend two to basically make it so that you can only put, defend with a single card. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I'm just trying to figure out. All right, good. I'm playing 4D chess over here. Nobody was ready for that on the stream. They're like, well, surely he's just missed it. He's missed Missed his calling. The calculations going on in my head right now are a mile a minute. <laughs> Let me tell you. All right, who knows? Did you know I played Android Netrunner? You? <laughs> okay. I know a little thing about card games. All right, let's do this. I'm going to play. I'm not being serious. Uh, as a Bryce, ge generic action, slogism. It's blue, cost three. So I'm going to spend three with Blessing and Deliverance here. The next attack action card with a cost two or greater, I play this turn, gains plus four attack, go again. Wow. So that took me an action. Yeah. Um, now, does this go in the chain? Does it? Where, what happens to it? What do you want to do with it? Throw it? I don't know. Let's leave it up there just so we remember it at least. But then it's like, I don't know... Is that, gonna, is, that, is that just goes over here? That's got to just go over here. I think so. I think yeah. the chain is like, like the, the actual combat attacks. chain is a totally different thing. Yeah. Um, so the next attack is plus four. Here, look. We did it. Hmm. Now, is there uh, uh, chat watching at home? Is is there is is there like multiple chains that should be sitting here at a, at a given time, or does it all resolve? And then maybe I do a second attack, and then it builds up, and it all resolves, et cetera. 
That's what I'm most curious about. Hey, congratulations. We've received 100 messages with Restream Chat. A lot of, a lot of chatter this, this hey, fine thanks. day. OK, here's, here's what I'm doing. As my once per turn action, uh, I'm going to use Ana Anothos, A-N-O-T-H-O-S, my hammer. Uh, once per turn, I can spend three. So I'm going to use my Wounded Bull, which got, is, generates three resources. Uh, attack. It's a four plus four, because it costs two or more, because it's mm -hmm. Logism. If I have two or more cards in my pitch zone, which costs three or greater, which I do. Wow, how'd you uh, manage that? I get plus two. So this is a 10 <laughs> attack. Look, we have tokens just for it. Whew. OK, so wow. I got there. I feel like you did some stuff. Are you sure that you're not the combo hero? Could, could be. OK, so now I just need to be worried, right? What happens if you hit me? You take damage. This seems good. Oh, but I have to choose. Oh. You figuring stuff out I over there? I can either choose it to use it as a reaction or as the little shield. Hmm. I want this card. It's always fun, the first couple rounds of a new game, just trying to figure out how it even functions. Yeah, you're just doing just poorly. But I think we're doing OK. Uh, OK, so I've really got. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend it on the shields, my friend. Anything weird happen if you, if you succeed in hitting me? How about this? Uh, I just do damage. That's all it does. Using the boots. What's even happening? These boots are made for walking. What are you doing? These boots are made for blocking. You're blocking with a six here? Uh, I'm going to block with six, seven. OK. How about the? Uh, now you can play any attack reactions that you have from your hand or otherwise. Nope, I'm good. You're good? Yep. Now I can play defense reactions. Yep. I don't have any. All right, you take three. Take three. Where's my health? Just putting it there. All <laughs> right, then my weapon goes back. Yep, and my bolters get a minus one... Minus one token. Because they're now battle worn. And then my uh, defense boy goes to. Yeah, I think this. if you use it during the attack, it goes to your okay. graveyard. So that was the first link. And then I'm going to put this into my arsenal. A perfect turn. <laughs> I, can you hear the applause? <laughs> yes. A All right. Smattering. So then, because Bravo has the four in intellect stat, at the end of my turn, I draw four cards. Or yeah. draw up to four. That's correct. Yeah, draw up to four. Now, if I had cards I couldn't do anything with, can I discard them? I don't think so. But then these go in my deck in order my order of choice, right? Under? Oh, yeah, I needed to do that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So you can stack your deck. So then, like, basically, time. things only go to the discard pile when they're used in the attack chain. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, now I have a fresh new hand, and I'm going to need a minute. And then I don't think I'm looking at the end of turn. Um, all unused actions and resource points are lost. If the turn player has an empty arsenal, they can put one in there. Put all cards from your pit zone on the bottom. Draw cards. And no, there's no discard, so you can't tailor your hand like you want to. Man, this is cool. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> 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 oh, man. So cool. Uh, OK, hold on. Let's see what chat's saying, if you guys have anything. Uh, yep, so going back into the library. Um, shunt costs one to play. I was under the impression you could block with anything with a shield value in the bottom right without playing it. Playing it as a reaction would cost one, and then playing it as the shieldy would cost six, yeah? Or it would cost zero. Or maybe that's just, I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see what people seem to, to tell me. You ready for the next turn? I'm, I'm ready. Get ready. You ready for the show to be stopped? It's not going to be stopped. So I'm down to, OK, so when I defend, I can't attack as much. I get it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Hmm. It's a balance. Hmm. Hmm. But what if I don't have enough money? Well, that's a problem, dude. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. 
All right, so I'm gonna Wait, put some that that money went away, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put some some heat on here. Okay, so defense reactions always have a cost. You can't normal defend with defend reactions. Other cards you can defend with are free. Anything except defensive reactions. Okay, that's a good immediate thing that I would have done wrong the entire game. So get that get that in your head. Defense reactions can only ever be used as defense reactions. We're basically the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. I mean, that's a, a six block is significant. Yeah, that's why I was and, like, well, and that's it a says, good deal for zero. I feel like the little box, so like I, I have slug is in blue here. The little box on the bottom where it says generic action down here, mm -hmm. that's an important box. Yes, it is. Like that, the de yeah. defining of the card in that way is like super fundamental. Yeah, it's, it's good. Okay, so I've got a bunch of one resource builders. So maybe I'll use this merchant's hood. I can destroy and shuffle any number into the bottom. Ooh, I've also got my, hold on, I've got my arsenal. You really want to always use the card in your arsenal and put a new one down, ideally, because then you draw back up to four. I do think so. But hey, mm. maybe not. Maybe not. I think... Ooh, ooh. This is clever. Do you ever feel clever? No. Good. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna use this. It's an instant. Destroy Hope Merchant's Hood, shuffle any number of cards from your hand into your deck and draw that many cards. I think I can do that. It's the action phase. So you're gonna shuffle three cards in. I'm gonna shuffle two cards in. And draw new cards, hoping to get better resources. Yeah. Now, I think if you have any kind of reaction to an instant being used, I think you could probably respond if you want. I don't. But I would assume an instant is not something I could respond to, actually. But who knows? It's happening. All right, I'm gonna shuffle these two in. And then I'm gonna draw. Destroy it, shuffle any number of cards into your deck, then draw that many cards. Ooh. So I actually shuffle my deck. That's important. So anything that I've pitched and put back in could now be closer to the top. Mm. And it could be on top if I was really good. You know what I'm saying? At shuffling? <laughs> yeah. The old shuffling, flip. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dennis. <laughs> RME has an important rule we should know. What is that rule? I tried finding it and my brain couldn't do it. The cards are using, yeah, go back into the, yeah, we did, we did that. We got it. Do you want to cut this? Nah. Sure don't. Also, we're not sleeving these cards because the glare from the lights is better without it. You're good. <laughs> okay. Wow, just make as much noise as possible. You're doing it. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah! <clears throat> Everything's fine. You sure? Yep. It's really top card. What a fascinating little thing. Okay. Um, Man, your weapon only takes one resource? That's yeah, ridiculous. It's, a, it's a fast, I'm a, I'm a warrior. <laughs> Don't you see? Don't you see? Wow, I have, I'm all out, of, all out of ideas. Let's... It's deceptively simple. But also, it feels like there's a lot more going on than I think there's going on. Yeah, there definitely is. I need that for chat. Let's do an attack. Okay. Ah! The Dawn Blade. Here's a pitching for two resources. One, two. Immediately use one for Dawn Blade attack. Uh, and then I can play any. Thing that I want that might matter here. Triggered effects would, uh, when I'm attack, if anything like that happens, those kinds of things. Uh, I don't have any. So I will, uh, do you have any of those kinds of things? Not reactions, just general things? If, uh, whenever attacks, X happens? I'm reading my cards. <laughs> Let's just do this. I'm gonna use my iron rot legs. So you're Blade in the defend break. step now. You're, yeah. You're defending, okay. If I defend, uh, destroy it when the combat chain closes. 
defend for one. Okay, defending for one. I'm currently three to one. And now we go to the attack reactions. Mm -hmm. I don't have any. I will pass the priority to you. And you're hitting me any, for three. Do you have any defense reactions? Um, yeah, I'm going to use springboard somersaults. It's a two defense. You're going to pay for it? It costs zero. zero. Ooh. But it's only a two, unlike your six. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. All right. Yeah, no big deal. I'll stop you? Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to put this face down over here because it's broken. It's fine. Is that what that means? Say banish it? I don't know. Does it say banish it? It says destroy it. I don't know. Would you banish something that's destroyed? I don't know. I assume I'll want it back for the next game, so I'm just flipping it over. Okay, here. flipping is fine with me. Okay. You, you did it. Congratulations. Um, that's that. I've got two actions and I'm not going to play. I'm going to draw, put this under, and then I'm going to draw two cards. All right, you ready? I'm so ready. I think I, I, think I have a, a flow going. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to play Emerging Power. It costs two, so I'm going to pay for that with a debil Debilitate. So Emerging Power, red, uh, has a two cost. Done. Um, Boom. Paid yeah. for. Paid for. Done. It has go again. It says at the beginning of my action phase, destroy Emerging Power. The next Guardian attack action I play this turn gains plus three. So it's not this turn. But yeah, it's, it's an stay there. Just and hang next out round, there. it's going to get a plus three. <clears throat> uh, okay. Then from my arsenal. Can I put it right here? Yeah. From my arsenal with go again, I'm going to play Buckling Blow, mm -hmm. which I can't play. That's right. <laughs> I, I thought it only cost three. Can't do it. I'm going to use. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Othos. All right, here we go. I won't it's have a card to put favorite. it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> attack action. It's four. If I have two or more cards in my discard or my uh, pitch, it costs three or greater. It gets plus two. I do not. So it's just a four attack. Four attack. What could go wrong? Okay. So I can uh, I can throw some defenses in there if I'd like to. You want to spend those cards or take a little no, bit of damage? No, I'll take some damage. All Wait, right. are there things like undefended, anything over there that matters? I have nothing like that. I do have cards that require me to have done a certain amount of damage, though. In your hand? I don't have a hand. <laughs> I do have an arsenal. <laughs> I've, I've, take, I've taken four. <laughs> All right, uh, so then the hammer, hammer time has been brought. Steven, you have seven damage to my three. Um, and... I'm going to, you mind if I put the aura right here? You can put just it right get there. It out of the way. Just don't let me forget about it, please. Uh, okay, end of round. Uh, all my stuff went away that was there. I'm going to draw back up to four because that's my intellect, and it'll be your turn. Okay, now here comes the pain. I think I've been just wasting resources, too. Why do you say that? Because mm, I have them left over when I look over there. Mm, that does seem inefficient. <laughs> Very unsteven like. All right, how about this? Speaking of Picture runner, this. <clears throat> How about a nature's path put... Wait, why did I put that one in? There's a cheap one. I get it. Some of them are cheap and some of them are expensive. Yeah, so what's but the name of the card? The Pull it up real quick. Thing. It's some, they do slightly different things. Oh, do they? So they do the same thing, but the numbers are usually different. So as an example, I have a Cartilage Crush. It's blue uh, in my hand, and it costs three, and it provides three resources. But I also have Cartilage Crush Red, which only provides one resource. Um, and then the card itself is the same, except for the cartilage crush that generates less resources has a higher attack stat. Yeah, that's where I am too. This yeah. one is just wholesale better. So the one that I put in my arsenal is the one I should be burning for resources. Which you can't do from your arsenal. Which I can't do from my arsenal. It's like they put it there just to, to screw me up. Okay, Nature's Path Pilgrimage. Blue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna discard a blue driving blade to pay for it just to get it out of there, because I'm just over it. Um, my next weapon attack this turn gains plus one attack, and if it hits and I have nothing in my arsenal, I reveal the top card and put it in my arsenal. That's what I like to call a little card efficiency. And it's got to go again. So you can do that and then attack. I'm I starting so, to get the flow going Or else here. it would be a complete waste of time. Okay, do you have any response to that? Just gentleman's rules? Or? Nope, I'm, I'm good on that so far. <laughs> it's gone. All right, so I'm at plus one. Put that there. And now, of course, <clears throat> you might be asking, <laughs> this is hilarious. Am I going to attack or not? <clears throat> and the answer is, I'm going to attack. 
I, I start, I'm starting to understand what Gaston does. No one. Here we go. Let's attack with a Dom Blade. I'm going to pay for it with one resource there. Dom Blade's coming in at four attack. There are no triggers that matter on the board, so let's go to the defense step. What do you think? I think ooh, that's fine. You're at four right now? I'm at four. Just four. Not a big deal. I'm going to let you have it. Oh, yeah? For now. All right. Uh, so you're passing priority. We got our reactions. Yep. I'm going to pass my first opportunity to react. See if you want to do anything. Nope. All right. Take four damage. Bing. And... I'm at seven. Also, my health is 40. I assume that's how we win the game. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Didn't the necessarily. first one to get to, to lose 40 health wins. Mm. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. All right, if it Obviously hits, he's and not I have no player. cards in my arsenal, so hitting is doing at least one damage, I reveal the top card and put it into my arsenal. Flock of the Feather Walkers. What? That looks like a good one to have Look in there. Look at that art. As an additional card, that's a blue Flock of the Feather Walkers for you guys uh, watching at home if that's... Are we popping? No, we're popping. We got pops? Popping like that. As an additional cost to play Flock of the Feather Walkers, reveal a card in your hand with cost one or less. Create a Quicken Aura token, which is this, which says when you play an attack action card or attack with a weapon, destroy it to go again. So I get a, I can, <laughs> once, a once a thing. <laughs> Steve, but again, a three, a three resource in the arsenal, which I feel like. Suboptimal? I wish that were being used. Yeah. Okay, now because uh, my weapon attack hit, I can attack an additional time. But don't you have to have... I think I do have to have that thing. Go yeah, again. I can't do that again. Okay, and uh, looks like I did it. That's it. All right. These guys will go to the bottom. Let's see if this matters. I want that one over that one. All right, my emerging power, which is red. At the beginning of my action phase, destroy emerging power. The next guardian attack... Action card, I play this turn. Gains three. He's coming. Yeah, it's a good time for uh, that, too, because I'm sitting here on... If this is destroyed, does it go to my graveyard or my Oh, the bitch? bolters. The bolters. Uh, the graveyard, yeah. That'll work. All right. So I need a guardian attack, which I have. This is one of those games. I Actually, I did this, well, all games, where you have your plan, and then you're like, well, I don't know what... The, I forgot the plan. And then you remember the plan, and you're like, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. All right. Can we go, we, can we go to the overhead more often? People would like to see the, the cards. As best we can, at least. We, yeah. Okay. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to... Uh, play another emerging power. It costs two, it's yellow. So I'm going to discard here, and it generates three. So I actually have an extra So at the, the moment. Uh, then it has a go again. So I can do the same thing. At the start of my next turn, I can blow it up to get plus two. No, so uh, you just did the three. thing for the, you did the thing yep. again. And it's got go again. But it's yellow, so it's a little bit weaker. Um, then I'm going to play a guardian attack action. Uh, Cartilage Crush, it costs three. Um, if Cartilage Crush deals four or more damage to a hero, their first action during their next turn costs an additional resource to play. So it's three. Um, it's at seven. Mm. So plus three is, makes it a ten attack coming at you. Anything else I need to know about this? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 no. Don't worry about it. So it has to do at least four? Yes. To, to have a bad impact on Yep. So I should be working on preventing that. I mean, the interesting thing about it, though, is like, how many cards is it worth? To stop a resource if you, from being a resource? Yeah, because if a card is worth two or three resources, it's better than trying... Anyways, if you can defend ten, by all means, I want to see it. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> you had the six earlier, so maybe you can. Yeah, maybe. Uh, the defending heroes. Okay, I don't want to do that one. That's an attack reaction. I can't do that. 
Okay, so you're saying... You got 10 coming at me. So if I can block 6, I'm still bad. If I can block 7... They used to net a resource. And is I'm not taking damage, too. Let's not forget that that's the game. <clears throat> I mean, you, you could forget. You know, I see how this all... I, there's some things that are happening in my in old dude's brain here. Old dude's brain? Mm -hmm. And you don't want to... You don't want to get rid of your big resource cards either. Yeah, it's a balance. You know, I mean... And also, like, the what? cards that I'm putting here are the cards that I'm going to get in the future, which is funny. Like, if you really are paying attention, you would know the order of your deck kind of a thing. What's 10 damage, anyway? 25% of the game. How about this? You can defend with both of those? <laughs> yeah, sure, they break. <laughs> All right. So, two? Two, yeah. So you take eight. <laughs> and you get minus one I'm resource. I'm sure that's wrong, but I love it. <laughs> and this is going to go Three, here. Three, six, seven, eight. And I, like you, am going to waste a resource. Yeah, he's laughing now. All right. OK. It's over to Steven. I'm just going to read while you're doing your thing. It's a, don't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Okay, here we go. I've got a turn. I've got a turn here. Um, let's play a driving blade. Wow. And let's pitch for three. Wait, hold on. Check the arsenal. Hold on. Oh, I definitely want to do that. Hold on. Let's get this out of here. So it's going to cost me one to play. I'll pick this up before I do that. Cost me one to play. Um, as additional cost, reveal a card with cost one or less. Okay. Here's cost zero. How about that? Nailed it. A blue iron song response is what I'm going to reveal. And you're playing the blue flock of the feather walkers? Yeah, so that cost me one. So I've got to generate that first. I guess that's worth doing. I guess I probably have to pitch first and then reveal. If I were designing a game, that's how it would work. I assume that's the case. So now I'll reveal something of one or less. Mm, razor reflex. Look at that art. Don't read it. Hold on, can I see the art? Back, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's great art. That's beyond good art. Really? Beyond good? Adolfo Navarro is the artist. All right. Revealed. Okay. Create a quick and aura token. What? Created. And then it stays in play, and then when I play an attack action card or attack with a weapon, I can destroy it at that point. To gain go again. On it that or attack. the weapon? The quicken. Okay. Not the weapon. So at some point you Not can just a get a free action. go again. Yeah. Free go again. All right. Well, get, let's get ready for some. Oh, wait. I need to put these on the bottom of my deck. Ready for some football? Football. Use one resource. Okay. And now we've got to choose. We've got to choose to choose. Uh, everyone's saying pitch and then reveal, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Attacking with Dawnblade. Okay. Spending one resource to do so. And then I can choose right now. This is where, this is before we actually go to the framework. This is where these, like, framework things happen. Mm -hmm. So when you attack with a weapon, destroy quick and then it gains go again. Now I could also wait on the bolters and see if I hit first. What do you think? Well, let's just hang with Quicken. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. I'm going to hedge my bets. I'm not going to play anything. No defense cards? No defense cards. I have no attack reactions. Do you? I don't. I take three. Take three. And then I'm going to hit my boots. What's the, what's the hit boots Hit the rocket do? boots. Uh, if the attack hits, destroy refraction bolters, and it gains go again. OK. So now I'm going to go again on that attack. Man, you could do a lot here because you have that quicken as well. Mm-hmm. And then I can attack an additional time with that weapon. So go again. Have at thee. One that's already generated. Three coming at you. Now this is the one. Now do I want to quicken this, you know? Well, if you hit, you get your token. If you quicken it and you hit again, you get another token, right? Is that true? Only if it's the second time. Okay. That would be sick, though. I do wish it worked like that. Mm. 
I have to really decide here, don't I? Oh, Quicken isn't optional, is that true? Oh, it's not. So Quicken had to have them first and yeah, you get your boots that. back. Yeah, instead. Okay. Um, I'm going to... That's where, I mean, that makes sense, right? The auras where you're like juiced up and then you yeah. have to, yeah. Helm of Aizen's Peak. Uh, action. Oh, no, it costs a resource. No! I'm not doing it. No, that's not right. Battle yeah, yeah. I'm just going to use the defense on it. Uh, and then instead of it destroying, it just uh, gets minus one defense yeah. after this. Battle wear. So j typically you throw it in front of something and you use it, like my bolters there. Yep. Any other defense cards? No. Okay, not here yet. come the attack reactions. Hmm. I think this feels like uh, the same kind of thing that L5R was going for. But it feels a little less wild to me. It is less wild. <laughs> There's, I mean, there's right, way less there's resources on, right? attached. Yeah. You know, well, maybe. That's probably not true. Uh, okay. I don't have to do anything until I see what you do. That's right. But do you get a chance after you pass? Yeah, we have to pass in succession. Okay, so you pass. I'm passing. I'll pass. <laughs> okay. I take two. <laughs> Look you at Dawn your, Blade. You get your token. Boom. Okay. Now, I could technically hit the bolters and go again, but I can't attack with that weapon, so I'd have to attack with an actual card, which I don't have, so I'm not going to hit the bolters. I'm going to put something down in my arsenal. Mm. Yeah, that's in the arsenal. I'm going to slide these under. And then I'm going to draw two cards and look and see what I did wrong in the chat. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. James, that makes sense. You ready for this? <laughs> You're right. Well, uh, mainly just like auras don't stack up like that. Emerging power. At the beginning of my action phase, destroy this card, and I get plus two to the next guardian attack. You get it. You're just beating me up. That is the goal. Uh, then I'm going to play. OK, OK. Uh, I'm going to play Crush Confidence. Actually, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to destroy Goliath Gauntlet as my action. Destroy Goliath Gauntlet. The next attack action card co that costs two or greater, I play this turn, gets plus two. So we're just going to make that a plus four. Well, I haven't seen the action card yet. Well, you're seeing it. Uh, <laughs> there, I'm going to use Stonewall Confidence as the resources, but I'm playing Crush Confidence Blue. Costs three. It says Crush. If Crush Confidence deals four or more damage to a hero, they lose all hero card effects and activated abilities until the end of their next turn. Did I forget that extra resource last time around? That you were supposed to, didn't you crush me and I had to spend an extra resource uh, to do something? Oh, you did, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Too late now. Uh, so I'm at plus four. It's a nine attack coming at you. And if you do a bunch, uh, I, I lose everything. You, that's blank. If, if you, yeah. All hero card effects and activated abilities until the end of the next turn. Card effects and activated abilities. I don't need card effects or abilities to win. That's not true. Oh, man. These little hands. They're little. It's They're... like you can almost do a lot. But you, you can't ever do too much. Well, I'll tell you, the pace this game's going, I'm not going to win. So I need to change my <laughs> approach. I know I can see clearly that there's I'm a way I'm only three to, damage ahead of you right now. There's a way to do this well. Yeah, but you're about to go nine up. <laughs> and I went first. <laughs> Don't you see? Okay, I like that, and I like this. So one, two, three. I mean, that's reasonable. You feel you could be good at this, right? Yes. Yeah. Don't know how yet, but I feel like I could be. Here, let's waste cards. All right, um, hold, on, hold on. You just play your defense thing, right? Yeah, I'm just no playing all my defense cards in the, in the moment. These are all just... So this is acting as uh, six, two, or nine. Okay. And you got to win by four, right? Yes. So conveniently, that is now you're winning by three. All right. Mine <laughs> for the reaction time. It's time for reaction. Generic you go first. Attack yeah. reaction. I'm gonna play pummel blue. 
Choose one, and the one I'm going to choose is target attack action card with cost two or greater gains plus two, and if this attack hits, the defending hero discards a card. You going to pay for that? Cost me two. Okay, so we... And now, my friend... Huh. I'm at 11. So you're saying I need a defense reaction. I don't have one. Wait. I don't have one. Yeah, so I'm okay. going to get... So 11 right. minus 6, you're going to take 5. Okay. You're going to lose your card text from your hero, and you're going to discard a card from your hand of your choosing. Just my hero's card text? Yeah, it says hero card effects and activated abilities. So yes. It says treat the hero card as if the text box were empty. Okay. Um, I'll... Oh, bummer. Damn You're the I. worst. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I definitely want to be able to play that. So I'm going to have to discard this one. It's the Razor Reflex Red. Those go to my pitch, and then I put these in the bottom how I wish, which I will. And then my intellect is four, so I'll draw back up. And you're at 20 damage. So you have 20 health remaining, and I am at 12 damage. Oh, man. Good. See, Flock of Featherwalkers is also an attack. Okay. You gotta get in the habit of reading. I feel like I, that little box on the bottom is really important. Yeah, I've been playing card games by pictures this whole time. Okay, so I don't have any new cards. Kind of shut you out there. Yeah, that was kind of a problem. But what do you think about this? Nothing yet. Let's see. Two. Oh, and I can't attack twice because I'm blanked out. Yeah. Just the hero. Just the hero. Card text is blank. So I've got to hit once to uh, to keep my plus one. Hmm. Is there a way? No. There is not, Zach. <laughs> Great. There is not a way. I have no cards. Who did this? <laughs> you defended with two cards, and then I, I discarded one. It was gorgeous. I know, I know. You're playing obsession over there. Okay, well, I think I need to clear out this thing then. Um, I'm going to play from the arsenal of the old driving blade for two. So I'll pitch that for three. Leaves me one open. It's going to be an attack. Okay. My next weapon attack gains plus three, and I gains go again. And then I go again not right now. So I can take another action, and then after I attack, I'll get to go again. But I won't be able to use it as an attack because I can only do that once per turn. So there you go. Here's the attack coming in for one resource. And it's uh, plus one, also plus three. Ding. All right. Who's laughing now? So you got seven coming at you. I see, I see. I'm just, I'm figuring out the cards I'm not going to use. You know? Yeah. Hopefully it's four. Really a cinematic uh, moment here, I guess. <laughs> you guess. Uh, oh, wait, to play defense cards, you have to pay for them. That's correct, yeah. All right, that's not or, what I was... Or unless, only if they're defense reactions. Everything else can come in as a shield. Oh, that seems standard. good. It's like uh, shields and conquest or that other game. <laughs> the one where you block with things out of your hand? Yeah. What was that one? Power Rangers. Power Rangers, yeah. Do, 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 do. Here's the grid. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go here. Garrett, we do need some music going on. You can. The beauty of this video, we don't run music on our videos. I don't know. We've never talked about this publicly. Here's some insider secrets. We don't run music on our videos so that you can run the music that you want. You can have this open and yeah. a music tab on Because I do that sometimes, and then when I'm watching like a camera review and they're like blasting music, and I'm like... Yeah, I was already. I, I knew what I wanted. I didn't need you to tell me. So I'm going to drop a debilitate and a wounded bull, a three and a two defense, respectively. Okay, so five. I'm block for. F Wait, you're at six. I'm at seven, my friend. What is happening here? I had the driving blade plus three go again, mm. and plus one yeah, static. Fine. I'm going to block for f five. All right, it's five minus seven, two. Technically, it's my negative two, but we all knew what I meant. I'm going to replace this. And then I have go again, so if I had an attack action or something, I could use it. But as you well know, I have no cards in my hand, and I can't use my sword again because 
uh, I don't have money to pay and you blanked me out. Sounds good to me. And I just removed that and that needs to stay there forever. It's a game of momentum with her and I have definitely not, I've not done it. <laughs> this game is, is lost. Great. Now I'm you sure, get a draw though. I'm sure I can recover. And here comes the cards. Okay. You ready? Yes. All right, I'm going to use my Bravo Showstopper ability action. Cost two, so I'm going to discard here for three. So I have one net. Um, until the end of turn, my attack action cards with cost three or greater gain dominate. Go again. The defending hero can't defend the attack with more than one card from their hands, so you can only use one. If you That's want. happening right now? Yep. Then I'm going to play from my arsenal. Buckling Blow, discarding a three and using my leftover resource. Crush, if Buckling Blow deals four or more damage, to a hero, put one minus one uh, defense counter on target equipment they control. I don't think you have any equipment that matters. No, I've, I've successfully destroyed it all. Yeah, but I'm hitting you for eight, and you can only defend with a single card. Oh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Alrighty then. And then at the end of the turn, all the resources go away, right? So if I generate on the defense, I don't, I don't yeah. get any bonus. They gone. Bonus ones. Oh my gosh, how much do I hate this? Sometimes your hand, like I've got to one cost that chunk that I want to play, but I only have two and three resource generators in my hand. I'm not going to waste that. Right? You can't waste that. No. No, 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 no. no. You're going to take some eight in the teeth here? How many times can I do that before I lose? You have 20 left, so. Can you get, Bryce, can you move right now? Ooh. Could you get like some D20s out of you? Do you have your dice bag on you? Yeah. D and D player. Have you, have you seen his bag of dice? Oh yeah, it's freaking everybody's got to have one. I used to have one, and then I became like this weird minimalist person that got rid of a lot of things that I didn't really need. But I have one set of dice right now. It feels good, right? It does feel good. But I'm also playing games that are, that basically are all D sixes, so I really only have D sixes. <laughs> you don't want to roll them in, like. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, what is 3 times 6? 18, 20. Okay. Just showing off for the camera yeah. there. Look, now we're, now we're real TCG players. <clears throat> A pending buckle and blow for 8. I can't just let that happen, but I have to. It's driving me crazy. Thanks for doing business. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start this reshuffling process. <laughs> You know you can't. I know. You're just going to end I, your turn? Uh, no. I'm going to... You got. You have what we call a tempo problem. Yeah, I do have a tempo problem. Because if you defend, you're out of cards, which means you can't do damage. But if you just take damage, you're getting lethally close to not being able to... Yeah, you got Don't it. Don't worry, though. Here's the old steel blade shunt. Woo, Which defend for six. And if uh, I defend a weapon attack, I deal one back to you. There's your tempo. Okay. So you take two and I take one? That's right. I don't have any reactions. That's the kind of exchange I'm looking for. <laughs> deal. Ah! <laughs> I went to grab my hand and grab I've still the got my bolters. All right, are you ready? Yeah, my come, turn? come and get it, man. Okay, here we go. Gaston's ready. No one. Have you seen the live action Beauty and the Beast? They did a really good job with it. Yeah, Gaston. I thought it was good. Yeah. I really did think think it was quite good. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Let's play sharpen steel. Okay. Next weapon attack gains plus one. Wait, that's it? It's got it's free. Oh, it's free. That's why. It and it has to go again. And it's got great art. Sharpen steel. Look at that. All right. Okay. So it's going to be a plus one. Don't worry, I've got counters for this. Yeah. Um, then we're going to attack with Dom Blade. And I'm going to generate three resources to do that, so I've got two remaining. So plus one, plus one. We're looking at five coming at you. Cards in hand? Zero. Resources remaining? It's two. I see, I see. Three, four, five, you said. 
So I'm I just gonna, I'm gonna blow out of my my boots. I just on have this to, one. I have to stop this. This is the reality. Yeah, I think that's a good idea because then it's just like donezo. Yeah, I think that is what is going to occur. Mm. All right, uh, let's defend for five. Hi, pots to go. I'm going to start saying hi to everybody that comes in. I feel like that's an important stream thing. Stream thing? Okay, so you, I have five to your five, which means zero, which means it doesn't hit, which means everything falls apart. Got that it? That token goes away, right? It does, yeah. I can't let you snowball. And then I'm drawing my... Oh, put these in the thing. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. At one point, I'll be good at knowing what order to put them in. And here is... Four cards. All right. You ready? Interesting. I mean, it's very clear that you should just be using the threes to generate. They're always worse than the ones in yeah. terms of usability. But if you use them to generate, that's all that's in your deck at the end. So then you, you've you spent all your other cards. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about this whole time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, I feel like I can put you away if I just do this right. I've got so many defense reactions in my hand. Oh, I'm sure you do. Uh, I'm going to use Slugism as a resource to attack with Anothos. Cost three, it's a four, four attack. Okay. That's it. That's it. Does yeah. it do anything if it hits in a special way? No. Or I'm literally, I used a bunch of cards to make sure your Dawn Blade wasn't crazy. Okay. And here we are. Now, I need to be thinking honestly about my next turn to see if I have any spare cards to throw in as shields. That's what I was doing. Like, we're, I think we're getting to the next next that, stage here of thinking. The key. That's the key to this game. But in order to do that, I have to think more. OK, so I think I definitely want this, and that's one resource, OK? One resource. Zero resources. And then I've got to do one, two, if I want to do two attacks. So that's three resources. OK. 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 All right, how about three? OK, so you take one? I take one. Smash. And then I'll put this in my arsenal. OK. I feel like my turns are getting more readily clear on what I think I should be doing. Nico, you missed the intro. This is a new game. It's not even distributing in the States yet. I don't even know. I think it's mainly in Australia, New Zealand area right now. Legend Story Studios makes it. It's their only game, so a little studio down there. And they've done a great job. Certainly all of the like uh, assets and whatnot are, are great. There's booster packs, that, and all that kind of stuff. Um, the game's playing pretty well. so. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty interesting. You rarely see a, a company like this spring up that can produce something out of the gate like this. Maybe we'll have them on the cast and talk about like seed funding or et cetera, whatever it is. Maybe they've been saving for 10 years to do this. Who knows? Probably a good story. My turn? Mm-hmm. OK. Garrett says, I walked away for a second. Now your counter's gone? <laughs> yeah, failure. All right, let's do a sharpened steel for zero. My that next card's weapon gets amazing. plus three, because I've been sharpening steel. Let's attack with Dawn Blade. Let's throw out three resources. Two will remain, because I am triggering the attack. And it's at plus three, because it's sharp. Six coming at you. Four. Uh, pots to go. I'm surprised you're not playing uh, WC. I assume that means Wrecking Crew. We can't get it. <laughs> so we can't play it. If we had any extra copies, we would be sending them to subscribers because of the allocation. So as soon as we can actually get a stable supply of it, and there's extras, we'll crack one open and play it on the camera. Uh, you're at plus three. I am at six total, yeah. I am going to do nothing. That's right. You are. I take six. You're going to do anything? Take six. Call me in the morning. You're going to use your little thing over there in the corner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroy this. I'm at 21 damage. And you have resources. I'm going to destroy the refraction bolters. And then uh, if I do the attack, gains go again. So the attack will now gain go again. 
And then I have my once per turn on Jorinthia. I can attack an additional time with my weapon, even though it says once per turn. So here well, comes you get a permanent attack. Plus. Oh, wait, you don't get the, when Not do you get yet. the plus one? I just say hit a second time in a turn. So now you're hitting for three. Now I'm hitting for three. And you get to defend, yeah. Three. Three. All right, let's play some Razor Reflex for one. Target sword or dagger gains plus three. Have six. I can't stop that. And you can't, that's after the defend step, too. So but I could can, react. You can only use defense reactions, yeah. yeah at this point. Oh, wait, can I throw this in? Could that have been a thing? Yeah, you could have. Ah, that's too late. Before I reacted. It's too late, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, which then you wouldn't react. Okay, I get it. I probably would have. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at three. <laughs> All right, so three to six. It's a so successful take hit. Take three. I get a plus one counter reflex in the heap. And. I think we're playing flesh and blood. Oh, we're doing it. And we're starting to move. It's like a locom locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready to rumble? Are you? Do you have? A, do you know how many cards down before you hit your first? Uh... No idea. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Not even close. Uh, okay. Nico, let's see. Hold on. I think Nico's saying something that I need to read. Um, it's in the states now. Game was seven years in the making. What's crazy? Ian, can you tell me, is it Ian or Ian or Gwain? It's the I-A-I-N, which a lot of times has a lot of different pronunciations. Thanks for sending us the game also. Um, it is only sent to LGSs. I saw you can dir buy direct from them on the website, which mm. is kind of a cool way to do it. Uh, Nico says, great job with the cast last week. As always, I just finished it today. I love when you let us peek into the industry. Well, that's great, Nico. We love to let you peek into the industry. And we especially like it when the industry doesn't need to peek into customers. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, you ready for this? I'm going to yeah. use my action on Bravo. Uh, so I'm going to discard three resources. It only costs two. It's going to net me one. Until the end of the turn, my attack action cards with three costs or greater gain dominate, which means you can only defend with one card. Then I'm going to play Debilitate. Uh, spend another th uh, three resources. That's the wrong card. Three resources. You can put that in your arsenal. Yeah, I have one, too. Yep. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So six. I had four total. Debilitate costs four. Uh, it's an eight. You can only defend with a single card, and it says that Debilitate deals four or more damage. Your next attack is minus two. What? Why are your cards got such big numbers on them? That's just how they roll. So I can defend against this or not. With one card from hand. Yeah. Okay. I've got your number. He's saying it's the same as Ian. Okay, Ian, great. Thank you. Didn't want to get it wrong on the stream there. So yeah, just defending with the car. Garrett says Bravo is a big guy with a big hammer. I need a way to Not attack again. Lose. Yeah, right. I need <laughs> a way to attack again. I don't have that on the board. It's a Don Blade, dude. Oh, you need a double attack. Yeah, I wasted a lot of cards on things that were important in the moment yeah. and are now less good than what I wanted. Seemingly, like you don't know. You know what? what I'm just gonna I'm gonna get ready to just wreck you. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will. <laughs> All right, well I'll show Tell you. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I've got nothing. I, wait, you, you're going to do minus two to me? I'm, I'm not going to do anything. The first attack next round is minus two. All right, I'll go to 11. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm almost dead then, huh? See, that is how that works. Wow. So you're at 31. You have nine left. How I many put you a card in Arsenal. 16. 16, and I'm at minus two. Let's signify that in a confusing way with our little tokens. <clears throat> Uh, so RME says, saw it at my LGS. It's awesome. They give out nice nice price support as well. I like this, the idea of kind of going... I mean... We need to talk. Let's have, uh, let's have Ian on the cast. This seems like a really cool project. Seven years in the making, and it comes out looking great. I like it. Okay, hold on. One resource. Two resource. Three resource. Four resource. Four. <laughs> Is that how this works? <laughs> Great. Okay, did you, and you put the little springy samurai no, in No, I put a face down card that you don't know what it is. You ready for this action? 
Sharpen steel, plus three, go again. Sharpen steel, plus three, go again. Your next weapon attack this turn. So plus three, plus three for a weapon. Yeah. But then you're also minus two, beware. Here comes the weapon attack. Here, let's just do it like this. <laughs> it was funner the other way. <laughs> right? Um, oh, no, I don't have the resources I need. So then let's go ahead and swing. Let's burn one uh, resource there with my Biting Blade, unfortunately. And then I've got no resources, but I am attacking you for eight. And you can now do anything you'd like in response. Not anything, I guess. All right, you ready for this? Sniper bag, TLDR on this, uh, on YouTube, asking for a TLDR. Um, brand new TCG, came from New Zealand, Australian area, uh, Australian, Australia area. So basically, that's kind of where the distribution, I think, currently is strongest. Um, it's breaking into other markets now. I think it just hit US distributors. Some US LGSs have been working direct with uh, Legend Story Studios, which makes this game, to get it in their stores. Uh, it's all about meeting in person, playing, kind of trying to be a traditional trading card game, celebrating the idea of people getting together and actually playing cards, which is right up our alley. And we're just taking a look at it. We've never played it before, so we're looking at it on camera. You start out with equipment and a hero, and then you fight each other. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I'm defending. I'm going to play Staunch Response. It cost me two. So I'll do that. But Staunch Response says, as additional cost to play it, I can pay four if I do it gains plus three defense, but it's a five defense. Are you paying it? I paid it too. I'm not paying it a bonus. Okay, so it's just five minus uh, whatever this is. Eight? You're at uh, eight, yes. So you want to take three? I mean, currently that's what's happening, but then you get reactions. I, uh, I'm not going to react. I will from my arsenal. Uh, generic defense reaction, springboard somersault. If springboard somersault is played from my arsenal, it gains plus two defense. So it's You're plus at nine? four. Yes. Well, how about this? And nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I lose my token. <laughs> but hey, you, gotta, you, had to, you had to risk it all on a... I mean, that could have been devastating. Uh, okay, I'm going to play this into my arsenal because I'm a smart person. This one's going to the bottom. And here comes four cards. This it, is... It, if I defend and p spend resources, do I put it on the bottom now? Or do I say at the end of the, at the, end, of at the turn. end of turn? Yeah, I think it's a framework. Both players probably do it. It's not that. Big you planning to get down there? No, <laughs> I was just curious. Just try to learn, you know. Uh, each player puts all cards from their pit zone. Yep, at that point. Hmm. Uh, sniper bag. Yeah, traditional TCG boosters and stuff. Correct. And there's a draft version that we haven't looked at yet, but it looks great. Seems like sealed is actually, or like draft limited play is, is very much in the at? playbook for yeah. Flesh and Bloods. Well, the, these heroes come with young versions that are like, have a lot less health. Do you have the young play. versions in there, Bryce? See like, if you can, see if you've got one, like, I don't know how they would even be classified, but it would be Dorinthia, but a younger version. <laughs> you got them? Can we pull one up? Let's take a look at Young Dorinthia. So really, it's the same thing. It's cool that you just get different art, and then uh, you've got less health, 20 health. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's really cool. Actually, you didn't have to do that. You could have just said everyone starts at 20, but you gave a card. Yeah. I like that. OK, uh, here's what I'm going to do. This is kind of, I think this is clever. I was initially not going to do it this way. Uh, but. I'm going to spend a card that generates three to use my Bravo Showstopper ability. Action, spend two till the end of the turn. Anything that costs three or greater. Oh, it's my action cards. Hmm. Is this an action card? No. It's a weapon, right? It says weapon on it, yeah. But I can still do it and say go again. It just doesn't do anything if I want to get that card out of my hand. Presumably. It's right. hard to read upside down. Then I'm going to pay three for my once a turn <laughs> attack action with an Anothos. If I have two or more cards in my pitch uh, zone with the cost three or more, it gains plus two. I have two, so it's a six. Six, huh? Yeah. Does anything happen if I lose? No. I mean, you take damage, and you've only got nine health left, so. Yeah. All right, I've got to, I've got to think again. I'm definitely doing this, springboard somersault. So that's, how about a minus four? What else you got? 
You're at uh, six. Mm -hmm. and it's currently minus four. Let me see if I want any of these. Um, weird. I mean, reprise is just weird. Oh, it's because it's the bad version. It's the blue version. Because it generates the money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. If this hits and you have no cards, ah, it's a good. And reveal. OK, I like that. I need a way to go again, man. I'm not, not going to find it. I'm not going to find it. OK. Target weapon gains. I like how committed you are to getting tokens on the down blade. It's all, you, it's all I can do. I mean, it's the only way to win this thing, even though I'm almost dead. The defending area of the card in the end is taking additional plus four. OK. I can't argue with that. So I kind of have to choose between these guys. Um, I think it's going to be these. So technically, I could burn this one. Ugh. I don't like it, but I'm going to do it. All right. Can you block it? Yeah. Blocked for five. On to the next round. And then you had plus two, didn't you? I was a six. And but then I had two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right, you're up. I've got to find a way to finish this. I have ideas. I'm an oh, idea guy. Oh, that's right. I still need to pay to attack. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hilarious. OK, let's start with this. Nature's Path Pilgrimage. We're going to generate three resources. OK, and it costs you one, so you have two extra. So I get plus three, and then I get one free to the arsenal if I hit. Any uh, problem with that? OK. <clears throat> Let's attack. Dawnblade, okay. six. I'm going to send my iron rot plate at it. One defense. Uh, no, no fanciness. Same here. I'll take five. So I'm at 29 out of 40. You're getting close. Take five, and here's the free arsenal card. Could be good. Could be bad. Hmm. I wish I had had that. <laughs> I wish I had had that so badly. Ah! Um... OK. All right, you ready? Interesting. Here's what I'm going to do. It's going to get interesting. I'm going to interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm going to use this. Helm of Aizen's Peak. Action, spend a resource. So I'll do that. Uh, destroy the Helm of Aizen's Peak. And well, I, I gain, get to draw, don't I? Yeah. And I gain plus one intellect this round. Yeah, OK. So that's my action. So I'm destroying it, and I'm going to have plus one intellect. Then I'm going to put this in my arsenal. I have two cards left, which I'll keep, but then... You don't go again after that? No. I basically Yay. give up a turn to get an extra card. OK. Yeah. So like if I defended okay, a couple, sense, it's yeah. like I could so arsenal your way, that. You're going to overcome my... Uh... You got it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. You're going to try to do a bunch of stuff with a big hammer and swing in. I can only defend with one card, et cetera, right? Maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a good plan to me. Yep. OK. OK. Defend with a card from the hand. OK. That's a reaction. That's a reaction. This is a generic. This is a generic. So I can do six, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. OK. Get ready for some, get ready to get rocked. Warrior action. Cost me one. I'm going to generate three with an energy potion. Top left corner, blue energy potion. Three. I like this card. I can either use it for three now, which is the smart thing, or rather the wrong thing, uh, or I can save it for later, which normally I would want to do that in a game, but not here, because I'm losing. So my next weapon attack is plus two. OK. So just get ready for that. And then if it hits, the attack gains go again, which is what I was looking for. So hitting is going to be really important on this one. 
And then we look at this card under here because that's important. Yes, all very important. And then we're going to attack for five. With the Dawn Blade. Five with the Dawn Blade. <laughs> all right, let's defend for six. Really? Yep. Hmm. That little boost of card let me defend and still have a pretty good turn coming up. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Okay. All right. All right. Let me see what the best math is here. Two for four. One for three is pretty good. <laughs> uh, and. Found chain. One Found it. Four, three. All right, well, how about this? How about a one, four, three? Stroke of foresight. It's going to cost me one. It's red. Target weapon attack gains plus three. And if the defending hero has defended with a card from their hand, this chain link, draw a card, then put a card from your hand on the top or bottom of your deck. Let's build out this stack. So you're at eight. This way. Eight to my six. Eight. Do you have any uh, anything you'd like to throw in front of this stroke of foresight? No. As a reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay, then it comes down here. Target weapon attack, attack gains plus three. I think that then resolves. And then if the defending here is defended, I draw a card and put a card from my hand on the top or bottom yep. of my deck. I think this is the exact same card that I have here. Nailed it. So let's put it on the bottom. Swoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need another copy. You hit me for two? Eight minus whatever you got. Six. So it's a tie ball game. Now, are you 29? Do you heal two? No. Wow. Mm. Wow. Fancy. That was really Fancy awesome over what here. I was able to do there. All right. That had the go again thing from the card that I played earlier, so I'm going to attack again, generate three resources to mm. do that. And yeah. Swinging for three? Swinging for three. I got nothing. No defense. No defense. All right, attack reactions first. Let's pay one for a Razor Reflex Red. Choose a Sword or Dagger to give it plus three. Mm. And then I can keep going if I'd like. I don't like. The defense reactions, anything? Nope. I'm just taking it. Six, so I'm down to three health. I was one away. You were. One away from having enough resources for that plus three. Hmm. Well. Would you look at that? <clears throat> I'm gonna throw this in my arsenal. Dawnblade's gonna get plus one. And you're on the edge of getting wrecked. Yep. I've gotta be careful. Very careful. Let's uh, <laughs> let's do this. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna discard here, generate three, and I'm gonna ultimately play an emerging power. It costs me two, it has go again, it gives me plus three on my next round uh, to my first guardian attack. So I'll put that there. Uh, then I will spend three more to use Anothos. Uh, cost me three if I have two or more cards in my pitch with three, it costs three or more, it gets plus two. So I'm currently at a six. That's it. That's it. That won't kill me. They won't. <clears throat> you laughing about back there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, I can't. I I, I gotta do. I, you're right. I don't. What I don't know what you just said. I said nothing. You <laughs> said a lot of words. Nothing. Um. I'm gonna block three. Okay. I'm gonna turn it like this to signify I'm using the shield. So you're gonna take three. I'm gonna take three unless you got shenanigans. Yeah. No shenanigans. No reactions. Just, another just three. It's cool. Let's see if I want to maybe play one. No, I don't. Okay. I'll take three. Hint. This next turn is the turn. 
Because I got plus three, and I have this card I stored. Oh, there's no way you're going to get another turn. Oh, we will see. Not a chance. Oh, there definitely is, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Okay, so I need two for that. I can throw that there. There definitely is. <laughs> Okay, cool. That's a good that's a good card. Oh. It's an attack. All right, then let's uh swing in for four. Generate three resources with my, my pots. And uh let's see what you do about that. All right. Um let's block for six. Hmm. All right. That's fine. How about this? Pay two for a Biting <laughs> Blade. Okay. Target weapon gets plus three, and if the defending hero has defended with a card from their hand, this chain link weapons gain plus one until end of turn. So I'll get a plus one on my sword there, and then plus three in general. Now, it could be that people attack with two weapons, and then they would both get plus one in a match, like the ninja, mm -hmm. maybe? That could be cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, it's eight to your what? Six. Six. I am not doing anything right now. I've got nothing either. All right, I take two. I have one health. <sighs> Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's the end of that. <laughs> here. Ridiculous. And here we go. Okay. That in the arsenal. Draw three. And put <laughs> that on the bottom. Down to one. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. All right. Mine? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, emerging power. See you later, Pots to go. He's gone. <laughs> uh, emerging power. I get plus three on my first guardian attack this phase. It's going away. So I'm going to use three. I get an extra resource to use action until the end of on Bravo. Until the end of turn, your attack actions with cost three or greater gain dominate. Go again. So you can only defend with a single card. Then I'll play this card. Debilitate. It cost me four. I had one left over. Here's a three. Ugh. So it's eight plus three, and it's got dominate, so you can only defend with a single card. And if it hits for four more damage, your first attack next round is minus two. I'm going to really, really <laughs> relevant question here. <clears throat> you can ask it. I'm out of cards. I want to surprise you. All right. <laughs> to have hit. All right. I think this is going to be hilarious. Uh, how about a steel blade shunt, buddy? If it defends a weapon attack, deal one damage to the attacking hero, and it's going to be six defense. And I'll go ahead and slide in a springboard somersault for two resources. And pay with one of them. Now, I'm, I'm not a mathematician. I'm not Richard Garfield here. But I believe that 11 minus 6 would be 5. 5. OK, so I'll go to 19. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I'm reading this right, it says deal one damage to the attacking hero. That's me. <laughs> Double 20s, we're out of here, 2020. Hey, that was close. That was super close. That was fun. All right. I, it took me several. Do you, do you think defends means I take no damage? Like if I successfully defend it in the sense that I, I so. remove you to zero? Uh, who's got it? Is anybody, did we do it? Wow. That's, it. That's awesome. So Gary's saying I had a game at the weekend where we were both on one for six turns. That's intense. That's got to be very intense. Yeah, I feel like so. You want to do another one real quick? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm switch gonna up. Take a break real quick. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we keeping the string going? What's what time we got? Let's talk about it for a second while while people are are yeah. Here. I, I feel like it's ultimately pretty simple. Mm -hmm. But it took me a while to actually get the hang of like I, I feel like actually all of the elements are so interlaced 
yeah. that it's hard to appreciate what's happening when and why. You mean like the Star Wars collectible card game? Yes. Uh, <laughs> but that this is simpler than that. There's not stuff moving around. Well, yeah. Simpler than the Star Wars CCG? You and I could write a, a thousand page technical manual for a printer and it would be simpler than that game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Are you uh, just, why are you taking out. your mic off? But maybe you should leave I'm that on. Oh, okay. Shut out only <laughs> deals damage against weapons, not regular attacks. Oh, which is, which is what just happened, right? DQ! You DQ. did a normal attack. That was normal. Unbelievable. All right, hey guys, talk to me about flesh and blood. Let's, let's chat about this. So that's good to know, Gary. That's hilarious. We'll call it good. I think it counts. I think it absolutely counts if uh, I played it and Zach didn't notice it. I think that's fine. <laughs> that's not my problem. Um, so Flesh and Blood, uh, let's, I think we should play another one. Is there any heroes that you guys want to see in particular? Um, I'm kind of keen to play uh, Reinar, probably over Katsu. Can you pull Reinar up? R-H-I-N-A-R. That's cool. That makes a lot of sense that the one kickback would only count during weapons. That's great. Katsu versus Brood. All right, we'll flip it around and make it happen. Um, John Freeney, yeah, that's correct. Every card in the deck can be used in essentially a number of different ways. That's what I noticed too. So you can either pay a resource cost, uh, you can play the card, that's fine. You can use it as defense, or even potentially you could, you might think about, I could save this from my arsenal or, or those kinds of things. So every card has a lot of different values that you kind of have to sort through. Um, and it actually makes, like, we saw some of these concepts start not starting as if they were revolutionary, but for us, I think I saw them first really in Conquest, the Conquest living card game, where I was having to decide if I wanted to play cards or hold them, and it came down to, like, you going back and forth with shields in your hand. And the Star Wars LCG, I believe, did that as well. Didn't the LCG have cards? Yeah, because edge battles. You could use them as the edge battle or as the card. This one's got at least three different variables that you can use. You can defend with them, you can use them for resources, or you can actually play the card. So yes. there's a lot going on there. That's kind of interesting. I agree with Nathan. I really want to see, um, I really want to do the same thing again. Do you want to switch? I want to stay with who I'm playing. I'm again, I think that'll make it go a lot faster. Okay, let's just shuffle it up and get it going. We'll see it. I feel like it'll feel a lot more like a, a real game would feel. Yeah, and then let's see if we can, uh, if we're quick enough, we could maybe do one more. We'll see how fast it goes. Are we trying to get Strange in? Yeah, we'll do Strange after this. Uh, Ryan Roper, is there a pirate? I can't respect a game that has ninjas but not pirates. I think my yes. character is a pirate, technically. He's pretty piratey. <clears throat> also, uh, Ian is on, <laughs> I believe you're on YouTube. So if anybody has questions, Ian's involved in the development of the game. So this, you can go on YouTube and ask him questions, or we can ask for you. This you is for Rob us. on Facebook. He's been asking for a while. He wants to see my mug. Um, someone sent this to me. We got random uh, mugs sent yeah. from somebody. It's got Kylo and Ray on it, and then the temporary truce plot from Destiny, because uh, someone knows how much I love playing Raylo. Whoever sent that, appreciated. <laughs> yeah. There's a mild concern that I got that the it, one up there with it the was like Yeah, the, with the golden rim. Uh, there was a mild concern that... Uh, they had been sent with poison on them because yeah. it was mild. That's why we drank out of yeah, them. Yeah, we took the risk. Uh, let Steven go first. Benjamin yeah. Anderson, there's potentially going to be like 30 to 40 different classes. So uh, that's awesome. And then Adam Scott, any updates on the Wrecking Crew for subscriptions? Um, nothing, I guess nothing tangible. We still expect that restock to be in early March. That hasn't changed, so um, we're basically ready. We've got the packages ready to go. We're just waiting on the products to get here, and then we'll send them out literally within in probably an hour of receiving that restock. So we'll get them to you as quick as we can, um, and we're, we're in constant conversation just trying to get information and get that product here, but there's only so much that anybody knows at this point. It's probably in some ocean vessel heading this way. It'll so be here at some point. We're waiting. We do get the sense that stock levels are going to be increased for um, at least once this is all caught up, that we won't see the same kind of shortages. Um, and this is pretty standard for FFG Asmodee products. 
sometimes the, you know, basically, here's what happens. A uh, game that we would think, you and I, as uh, players of things and, and people that have been here for a long time, this is going to be very successful. And people in the business for a long time. Yeah, a Star Wars game, collectible. Okay, that's obviously going to have some early appeal, if not permanent appeal. Um, so let's go big on that. Then we have uh, Marvel IP, cooperative well, card like, game, it's, and it's like, well, this is going to be big. It's important to know, too, <clears throat> Star Wars collectible game, um, Destiny specifically, the reactions of the first several months were very meh. Yeah. Like, not ex low excitement, e low orders. So the reason I, I mention that is that, like, I feel like uh, you would hope that someone that has put out as many games as Fantasy Flight slash Asmodee would be capable of accurately predicting demand. And we've done several podcasts. I guess it's hard. I mean, but I've also seen things like Destiny, where the response was met, and it's like Star Wars collectible game feels like it should be an auto no home brainer, run, especially right? if you played if you've played the game. Like if you're on the inside, it's almost like if you see a movie and it's getting edited a lot. But you're the person, the editor, or the person that made the movie. I could I see sometimes how they watch it over and over and they have a different appreciation for the movie. Mm -hmm. In the same way that like if you if I had been playing Destiny for a month, it only took me like a week. But a month, and it's like Star Wars. Yeah. And it's we're in like prime Star Wars season at the time, right? Um, but the general reaction is kind of just eh. So like. Uh, there's historic reason for someone to be nervous, yeah. which is, is worth mentioning. And then here's what happens, though. It's like, so Marvel cooperative game, um, core sets come out, immediately sell out, but by the time that's known, all of the expansions that were in whatever that block consists of have already been shipped with those core sets. So you don't have time to correct for the over-demand until that next wave comes over. So my assumption is that what happens is, oh my gosh, this game is hot. Let's print more of everything now, and then it's a four to five month period until it gets to the states, and then it can actually go out and kind of make up for. So I imagine there's more Captain America coming, more Miss Marvel coming. I think there's more of everything coming. When that actually hits is probably when those Wrecking Crew packs are going to be available, and we expect that to be early March. That's the best information that that we have. And again, we nobody has a master key on this. Uh, everybody seems to just be kind of like, we'll see. Here we are. All right, so let's get started. You want to go first? Yeah, sure. Uh, All right, now we know. Now we know. Let's go. All right, I'm going to do this. That's completely right, Andy. That actually makes uh, a big difference, too, that coronavirus apparently is, is hitting really hard on a lot of the Chinese production. Yeah. So hopefully it's Yikes. already been sent, and that won't complicate things. But And then Chinese New Year and stuff. All right, you ready to do this? Yep. All right, I'm going to play Cartilage Crush. It's red. Cost three, so I'm going to discard here to do that. Uh, and it says Crush, and it's a seven attack. If Cartilage Crush deals four or more damage to a hero, their first action during their next turn costs additional resource to play. Yeah, that's devastating on the first round. Great. So you just paid three to do a seven damage attack. Yep. And I will get to draw up. Yep. So shouldn't I just dump my whole hand? Presumably, right? yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't I do that? No, because I, I wanted to play know. the cards. I mean, if you have one or two cards you really want to uh, get. Okay, well, maybe I hold a three. Three resource. Maybe. So this is interesting. Uh, Spader asking, where do you start with Flesh and Blood? What should I buy first? RME says, get the free starter deck. Free starter deck, what's the, what do you mean by that? It, can you like go to a local store and get a free starter deck? And if you can, two thumbs <laughs> up. That's, yeah, two thumbs up for sure. My goodness. Um, how about how about nine? See, we're playing the game now. We're yeah, playing the go. Game of Thrones now. On, bring it on. I'm gonna put this in my arsenal. You just cancel that. All right. Let's go to the next round. Get canceled. Did we decide if I don't want to use a card, can I just discard it? No, you cannot. What do I do with it? You sit Leave on it. it. Put it in your arsenal and look at it. It's not what I wanted. All right, you're going down, Wooly. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oop. And I need to go again. Okay, okay, okay. And this one goes in. And this one goes zero, one, two, three. All right, how about this? Um, blah, let's sharpen my steel here. Zero cost, and it's going to get plus three. And then I get to go again. Whoop. Let's swing at you with Dawnblade at plus three. Yikes. 
And we need to pitch some cards for that. And here's a three. Hmm. Just looking. Just looking. Uh, let's see. All right, let's defend for three. Do you have any reactions? No. I do. Springboard Somersault. It's a two defense, but it's plus two if it's played for my arsenal, which it is, so I'm at seven. Seven to my six, huh? Okay. I got you. Stroke of Foresight. Whoosh. Target weapon gains plus two weight. I didn't actually pay attention. Six, what are you at? Seven. Okay, so I'll go up to eight. Uh, and if the defending here has defended, I can uh, draw a card and put a thing from top on the top or bottom. Okay. Do you have a reaction to that? Nope. All right, so to resolve this thing, plus two. Look at me going down the framework. Yeah. And I'll <laughs> put the, the top card there. And do I want this top or the bottom? And I'm taking the damage effectively. I want that on the top. And you take the damage? I take the damage. Okay. Here's the question. Here is the question. How many cards you got in the end? Three. Oof. I'll crack the boots. Ugh. I think not. No, I don't do it. I don't do it here. I'll put this in the arsenal and I'll draw it. All right. Interesting. You ready? Yeah. It's a little bit like tennis then. It I, is. I feel that I, vibe. I, I can feel it. All right, so let's let's see what everybody's saying here. Um, let's see. Hero decks are good, balanced against each other. Um, that's good. Where do you start? What should I buy first? Get the free starter deck. Um, you can order one of the four ten dollar starter decks direct. It looks like. Yep. Um, and then distributors should have them. Uh, demo decks. Apparently they're really good pre-made decks too. Demo decks are free, starters you have to purchase. Shop can get a kit that comes with a lore book and free demo decks of Ira, a learn to play exclusive hero. That's cool. Nice, that is cool. Mr. Shipping Computer, glad to see the data tokens back in stock. Yeah, we, we just did a printing of them. Also, a big fan of your Saga tokens. Any plans for reprint? No, we scuttled those when uh, Destiny went out. We may bring them back at some point, like a little like special edition over the holidays or something, but not right now. And the play mat that we're playing on, Ian, can you, if you can answer that question in the chat, um, that's worth knowing. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. I'm going to play Cartilage Crush, uh, spending my resources here, three. If Carlos Crush deals four or more damage to a hero, the first attack action on their next uh, turn costs an additional resource to mm -hmm. play, and we will stop there for now. It's How only a five. It? It's a five, huh? I get it because I'm kind of I'm not even doing this to actually hurt you. I, it's fine if I hurt you, but I'm mainly doing it to make you spend stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, let's throw the boots in. The boots. You're doing that because you're going to use them. I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them. And then, uh, do you have any reactions? Attack reactions? No, not yet. I mean, I, I've got a I defense. Can. I've got a defense. A plus four. There. You got it. Yeah. I've seen that guy before. Uh, five to five. I'm going to pass. All right. Let's go. And then I'm going to put this in my arsenal. I get it. I'm there. I'm in it. Okay. How about this? I need an attack action is what I need. Okay. Let's do uh, our favorite, Sharpen Steel, plus three on the next attack. Let's attack with Dawn Blade and use the blue Sharpen Steel to generate three resources. So one will get used on the Dawn Blade and we're swinging in for six. Hmm. You don't say. You don't say. Let me do my math. <laughs> Good luck. 
Yeah, Army, we'd love to do that. Thanks. Thanks for saying we got the best tokens. Yeah, Jared, I agree. Just a pure 1v1 game feels pretty nice and, and solid. Um, the LGS pack. So if your store gets this, uh, I guess the pack, the I guess the intro pack, it'll have one of these mats in it. I presume you would play for it or you'd use it to demo the game. Yeah. Probably. Uh, I will... <laughs> Is he just going to take six? I don't even need to pop the boots at that rate. I feel like I just... I'm going to good. use my boots. <laughs> My boots. My boots. Okay. For one defense, iron rot legs. I've got no re response. You? Me neither. I'll All take right. five. Six total damage out of 40. Okay, good. Good, good. This will trigger. Um, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I've got, I've got the opportunity. So when a weapon attack hits, I can destroy this to go again. Just put it here. So then I'll attack again. For one, and it's three. Nothing fancy. <sighs> He's laughing at what's up, Bradley? Hmm. Oh, hold on. I've got those the single player mats. I've got those around. Check these boys out. Here, can you put that over your face there? <laughs> Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's my boy. Look at him. He's got yeah, the hammer. Looks time. good. I mean, it looks. It, it makes me feel like he's got a lot more finesse than I would otherwise have imagined. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna do something crazy. Huh? I'm gonna use staunch response. Claim that shot. It costs two. Staunch response. So I'm going to discard here. I have a spare resource. Um, and I'm going to pay an extra four to make it an eight. You're defending for eight? Eight. I don't want you to get that token. Yeah. It's that's too, too that's much. more than I was anticipating. Great. Mission accomplished. Huh. So eight is better than seven. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well, you got me. All right. Let's consider it stuffed. <laughs> and uh, put that in the arsenal. Hold on to this guy and draw four. I'm gonna put these under. Wow. Sometimes you draw into a big offense hand and sometimes a big defense hand. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, so I'm going to just use my hammer. Pain three. Uh, Anothos, four, four damage attack. Okay, I got you. How about... Hmm. How about a steel blade shunt? So I take one? Paid with a steel blade shunt. That Six and good. you take one, yeah. It's only weapon attacks, which would have been handy last time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Man. Defending is hard. Yep. I agree with your assessment. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, how about uh how about having a new attack here? You like that? Let's swing with the Dawn Blade here. Let's generate three. So we'll have two remaining. And it's a three damage attack. Would you like to defend? I'll defend with my iron rot plate. Actually, no. We'll leave that. Uh, I bet there's cards in this game that are about being undefended. 100%, right? And these little be. iron rods have got to play to that. Probably ninja stuff. I'm feeling good about this. I feel like I, I uh, because it's seven to zero, but also I just feel like I 
can see the game. I'll block for three. Know? Yeah, I feel like I'm actually playing now. All right, here's uh, plus three. All right, I'll take three. It is a razor reflex red. You know we're actually playing when Bryce can't keep up because we're not saying anything. That's actually anymore. true. Yeah. <laughs> we have oh to what? Ask. Is this a stream? Didn't know. That goes in my arsenal. Draw four. Okay. All right, you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm going to play an emerging power. I have a spare resource here. Um, then I'm going to use, I should have used this earlier, uh, a resource, and I'm going to destroy the helm to get plus one intellect Ooh. this turn. Nice. Um, and then that, that's my action, actually. So then I'll just draw. OK. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, 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 that makes sense. Okay, let's do a, um, Warrior's Valor for one, and unfortunately, Um, I'm going to do this. Three resources there. So my next weapon attack is plus two. And if it hits, it gains go again. OK. And then I go again. So weapon attack here for one. If it hits, I will get to go again. This is for five? For five. I am going to take it. Yay. 15 damage. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, Nature so boy. Here's the go again moment. Hit uh, me with it. Um, hmm. Huh. Pumpkin Jack. Asking, what is this game? This is Flesh and Blood. It's a TCG out of a, you said New Zealand company. Mm -hmm. um, and it's pretty new. I think the, the first set's out. It's just now hitting US distribution. Uh, we're taking a look at it. They sent us a copy. And uh, it's basically one on one combat in this kind of like uh, fan fantasy world, I would say. Pretty, pretty classic. Card or attack with a weapon, destroy, quicken, then the attack gains go again. Huh. This is absolutely interesting to me. Um, let's go here, right? Yeah, yeah. OK, Flock of the Feather Walkers cost me one. It is a generic action attack. As an additional cost, reveal a card of one or less, which is going to be Wounding Blow, cost zero. And then it says create a Quicken or a token. <clears throat> and so that is going to resolve, and this is a three damage attack coming your way. Oh, that's not how we were playing that earlier mm -mm. at all. No, yeah, we, we were doing But you now have a quicken token. Yeah. So after this goes away, it'll quicken. It'll quicken the next time I play an attack action or attack with a weapon. Got you. Um, but this, is, this doesn't have go again. No, it does not. Mm -mm. This would be the final attack. So this is the end of your turn. It's it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to block for three. All right, you did it. All right, mine? Yeah, let me get, oh, I need to do all this stuff. Come on. <laughs> I'll just put them in like they yeah. happened. Wait, no, that's the opposite of, yeah, that's right. And then I'll draw up to four, which is my intellect. OK. You ready? Yeah. Emerging power trigger, so it's plus two on my next guardian attack action. I'll uh, be checking on chat, so let me know when I need I'm, to. You're getting needed. I'm ready to go. Yeah, it, <coughs> this is not like, not really like Magic the Gathering. I mean, it's cards, but poker's cards, I guess. I'm going to pay three for my arsenal for Slogism. The next attack card, action card that costs two or more this turn gets plus four. Why are you doing all this stuff? It's the game. Uh, Pumpkin Jack, yeah. We say your name. No thing. Then I'm going to crack my Goliath Gauntlet. Uh, the next attack action with cost two or greater this turn gets plus two. Go again. Okay, hold on. I need to be. I need to care about this, don't I? 
I told you I was <laughs> ro rocking and rolling. I'm going to use my Bravo action. Cost me two uh, until the end of turn. My attack action cards with three or greater cost get dominate. So you can only defend with a single card. Did you pay for all this stuff? I have paid for all this stuff. Then I'm going to pay for my attack. Cartilage Crush, Guardian Attack Action. If it does four or more damage, uh, your next, your first action on your next turn costs an additional resource. It is currently, it's a five, so gar Cartilage Crush Blue at a plus eight. So I'm hitting for 13. With and I dominate. can do one card. You can only defend yeah. with one well, card. Well, it's, it's... I can only defend with one card. Can I play a, a defense reaction multiple? The defending hero can't defend the attack with more than one card from their hand. Arsenal's not from my hand, is it? <laughs> Beats me. It doesn't look like it's in my hand. I think the game might say that it's always considered in your hand. Maybe. What do you think? Is it Arsenal? Hold on, let me see the Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. Okay, Arsenal, Arsenal. Chat, chat will get us on this. The last thing in chat says fail. If I, if I can't, if I can't play but one card from my hand, can I play one card from my arsenal and one card from my hand? Okay. Uh, so Fab says, or <laughs> Fab, Ian says one card from hand can also play from arsenal. Okay. So one and one. And a defending card is a card that is adding defense to a chain link and includes defending hero uh, cards from hand, equipment, and defense reaction cards. So it says only one defending card from defending hand? Defending hero can't defend the attack with more than one card from their hand. Okay. So here we go. If I have a reaction here and then a card here, that will get me sorted. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try to block with a wounding blow from hand. It's okay. going to be my actual defense card. And then it goes to reactions, which you have a chance to play. I like. And then we'll do a little somersault there. So you're at seven. Seven total. So yeah. I would take these away. And then I would hit you for six. Take six and plus one resource. Is that what's happening yep. here? The first did, action. Did I have to pay for any of that? No, I didn't. The first action during your next turn is plus one resource. And I take six, right? Yep. OK. Six damage. See ya. All right. I get it. Um. So you're you're out of you're out of hand, right? Oh wait, you just you draw up. You go to four, right? Yeah. Ugh. All right. And my next thing is plus one. Ah, the first action during their next turn costs an additional one. Man, that's a bummer. And it's gonna be my quicken win too. You're the worst. Just awful. Okay, and I got this merchant's hood that I could use, I think. Just awful. I mean, I can't do anything with this. All right, well done. Well done, Mr. Bun. Great. I need two resources. I could get that, but then I've got to do the thing. All right, well, how about this? Um, I'm gonna destroy this, shuffling your number of cards from my hand into my deck. You okay with that? Yep. That seems like a good time to do that. Yeah. I definitely need, I want this one gone, plus three. I need that one, and I'll go, these guys go away. Draw two, and then shuffle this. Yeah, <laughs> army, we got you. <laughs> Pumpkin Jack, that's awesome. Watching the break room at work. Cool. Seems like a good break. Yeah, very good break. We're kind of we're kind of set up in the break room here. We got the coffee back there. Okay, now you we're talking, no Zach. <laughs> that's not what I mean. <sighs> I'm I'm seeing it. I've seen the matrix. The ones and zeros are in my brain now. Here's an action. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost me three because of your little plus shenanigans. Um, so three, three. My next weapon attack this turn gains plus three and go again. All right. And I can immediately go again. So we'll at least try to make you do weird stuff. 
Let's get three resources, spend one to attack with the blade. That plus three. Six coming at you. I just don't want to keep my foot off the gas pedal. I want to keep it moving. I understand. Get that Dawn Blade cranking. I want to keep making you use cards your cards. Hand. None. Great. I'll block with six. <laughs> I had a bad hand. I just want to get it out. <laughs> You know, I was like, how am I going to yeah, use these must cards? Be, must be an awful hand. And then I was like, wait, I can use them to defend. All right, where where did that, what was that card that I played that mattered? What are you talking about? This one? No, this one. Oh, your Quicken's going to fire too. You can attack again though. You'll get the second attack. Yeah, so I, I actually double stacked it. So I did a go again and a go again, which is bad. You shouldn't do that then. That doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. Oh, because this would have done on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one, and then that's me playing an attack. So, so you really should I have attacked this, for three first. And this goes again. That's fine. Okay. And so this is important to note. You can't stack those go again, so I don't get two actions, if that matters. Um, gains, and it doesn't say if it hits, I get go again. So that's worth something, at least. So it's blocked. This probably needs to go wherever my... There we go. Both of those were pitched. So it comes back having been fully defeated, but I do get that go again still, luckily, because it doesn't say I need to hit. So let's go again. Okay. One to do so. Then I will uh, defend with these two cards for nice. three. Nailed it. The iron plate goes away, and this goes away. Beautiful. Now okay. I card. can't hate that. That wasn't bad. Mine? Two, three, and four, yes. I'm basically just putting this in my arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to draw. <laughs> I, it has a bad hand. Uh-huh. Okay, I like this. Um, good, good, and good. Okay, this is cool. This is very cool. I'm going to take a moment to care about things. Let's do this. Mm. Let's play. Uh, you've got a full hand, though, don't you? Yep. But you've been defending a lot. Plus one, go again. Don't want that. I don't want that. Um, okay. How about this? I don't like that either. Let's play Nature's Path Pilgrimage for one. Let's discard Warrior's Valor to gain three money. One of those is going to go to the old Nature's Path Pilgrimage. My next weapon attack is plus three. If it hits and I have nothing in my arsenal, I put one from the deck in there. So that's one. Then let's do a little uh, whoop for one. It's at plus three, and if it hits, I get a free card in the arsenal. Maybe it'll matter. Mutton Chop, the younger one is for drafting. It's a 20 health lower version for drafting, uh, which is really cool. Dig that a lot. All right, uh, I'm going to block for six. Okay, uh, if this hits, you have no cards. All right, let's see if we want to do a little... Nope, okay. Not going to hit. It's interesting because this game, I feel like I'm blocking a lot more. Yeah. And I'm just kind of testing it out, like what it's like to go into rounds with basically no cards in hand. All right, throw that there and great. then put these under. I'm going to act like I care about the order, and then <laughs> we're going to draw three. <laughs> All right, you ready to go? <laughs> yeah. I'm playing Cartilage Crush Red. It costs me three, which I'll play. Uh, if I deal four or more damage this attack, you your first action next round costs one extra. Yeah. Seen this before? It's a seven. So you do a lot of you do a lot of blocking and then setting up big swings that make my turns bad. I think that's right. That yeah. seems like what the deck wants to do. Basically, like negating a turn and then trying to make because either you're going to lose a resource or you're going to spend a bunch of cards. Constructed so. in this game is going to be devastating. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and how much you hit me for? Seven. Okay. Well, how about... Don't forget about your free armors. 
Important. That's actually quite important. <laughs> um, I felt like you had head, head down syndrome right there. Head down. And this is the cartilage crush is the actual attack that's happening. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you're at seven, and you've got to hit me by four. Okay, I get it. But it's interesting because it's like, if you defend with resources, it's the same difference. Mm -hmm. Except for they're permanently gone instead of discarded. I also don't take damage, let's not forget. Yeah, that's the base upside. Let's throw a three and a four. Okay, so you'll take three? Mm hmm. You got it. It's gone. Bye, Felicia. Take three, you said? Yep. Game of exchanges. Game of exchanges. Just a little tit for tat, a little back and forth. <clears throat> okay. Games plus two. See, I really, I really want to, I want that go again thing on the, uh, on the Dawn Blade. That's really what this deck has got to be about. Uh, draw a card, equipment control game plus one. Okay, how about we do a normal attack? Starting it off fresh. And we're going to discard for three on the Biting Blade. Just a little three? That's right. I'm not going to play anything. Okay, okay. Um, it cost me one to do. Let's do a stroke of foresight. For one, I get plus two. And if it mm. hits, I get the top card of my deck. I can look at it, put it on the top or the bottom. Um, if you defend with a card from your hand, is the only time that works. I'm not. Okay. Just take two damage. Two or five? I have five total, yeah. All right, I'm at 20 damage. Halfway home. Half, we're halfway home. Uh, make sure I didn't want to do anything with that. And yeah. All you. All right. Yeah, what's up, Raid TCG? Apparently. People knew about this well before uh, I did. <laughs> Preposterous. All right, uh, this is the best I got, I think. I'm going right. to s play from my arsenal, Slogism, for three. It gives me plus four attack on the next thing that costs two or more. Then I'm going to spend uh, hmm. five on Debilitate. Goodness gracious. So the build such a it has a nine and it's plus four because of uh, slogism. And if it deals four or more damage, I get to put a card from your arsenal on the bottom of your deck. If it deals four or more. Then that card goes to the bottom of your deck. And this is just a standard action. It's an attack action, yep. rather. Crush. Okay. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I don't like your things. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you so mean? <laughs> I mean, I've got to do this, I think. For one, I mean, if not, I get rid of it. It gets rid of it, yeah. Um, I think, I think I'm going to have to do a three resource. So I've got two left if I want to get frisky. Um, that's it. All right, take seven. Mm. Seven. What? Whoosh. Why? Up to, up to 16 total. So it's 16 to 20. You're, you're still ahead. I'm still ahead. That's right. I'm still ahead. I'm still ahead. Don't you worry. <laughs> Don't you worry, buddy. I'm starting to understand my deck a lot more. I'll tell you that much. Good. Happy for you. Mutton chop with a good question. I got Thank you. Him. You can look at your thing. Uh, does this feel complicated, or is it as simple with depth as it appears? Is it... I'm surprised at how satisfying it is from a complexity level. Yes, it's uh, intricate but not complex. I think is the the way I would describe it. So, uh, what what you what you you were saying for a while? Uh, you had a saying. Uh, my my thing was uh, complex but not complicated. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it too. Yeah. Um, the first 
game, if you go back and watch the beginning of the stream, we kind of struggle through the first 30 or 45 minutes just understanding the framework and how actions work and how all this works. And then if you watch the second, first 10 minutes of this game, we're cruising and bruising, I think. Just very quick. And we know what the cards do and how, the, and how they function, so there's a lot less reading going on. Um, but yeah, it is very simple. I, I think one of the greatest signs, it's what did it for me for Destiny, actually, of a uh, basically the quality of a game like this is once you understand the fundamentals, uh, go to build a deck. And I'm curious what the rest of the cards look like mm -hmm. and what the, the it, choices in deck building look like. Seeing all the different options here, like, it's going to be brutal. Like, yeah. we're going to be able to build some really tweaked decks. I don't disagree. Which is cool. What is happening uh, here? So I played a Warrior's Valor, which means plus two and go again if it hits. Mm -hmm. And then I swung with Dawnblade. I chugged a potion for three, and I used two of those resources. So if you deal damage, you get an attack again. Yeah. Currently at five. And it's kind of nice. It's got a little bit of. The, it's got the risk assessment thing going on, like like a poker game. You got to decide if they're bluffing you out. Like, do I have a card that matters here? Um, if somebody's got something in their arsenal, it's good. <sighs> ah. I also like the. I was trying to get this potion out in a different way, where I could use the go again to just put it out, because that's really what I want to do. I feel like that's. <laughs> That's what the game wants me to do. I just can't stop trying to get two Dawnblade swings in. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of the whole point of being here. Yeah. I also, I do love that, uh, RME, you're talking about, I love the idea of, of coming into the game with a hero, a weapon that you've chosen, and then all of the equipment that you've chosen. Like, that is definitely... You're entering the arena built how you want to be built. Exactly. It's, it's solving a lot of problems that card games have where you feel like if you don't draw what you need, you can't do the deck idea that you want to do. So if the equipment can kind of be that for your deck, if it's the vehicle by which you um, create unique builds, then you're there. I mean, that's a, it's a good way to do it. And it feels in theme. It doesn't feel strapped on at all. It feels very streamlined. Yeah, made in Belgium, no curling. Cardstock is great. These are is really these are nice. fantastic cards. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. I'm going to defend for seven. Oh, get out of here. Seven? Mm-hmm. I'm at what? Five? So this plus two isn't going to matter. OK. Good to know. <laughs> Swoosh at him. You, you got me. But like that's going to take away my whole turn. And now I, I throw this in my arsenal because I didn't, yeah. you know, so it's like, okay. I get it. But then that thing goes away. It Thank sure you. does. And then I only have one card left, so I'm literally going to put it in the arsenal and then uh, drop my hand back. I feel like, so I'm, I'm just appreciating this mid midway through this game. I feel like I'm trying to create these big turns. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm just keeping that constant aggro pressure. Yeah, but like what I love. the thing for me is I've done a lot of these like defense turns mm -hmm. because I'm not set up, and the setup to me is like getting the right card in my arsenal and the right amount of resources in my hand. Yeah, and I, like I can't give you two attacks there. I'm seeing that now more than I have in the past. It's like if I think in deck construction too, knowing there's a certain scenario you're trying to get in the arsenal and in your hand that's going to let yeah. you do the thing you really want to do. Yeah, it makes like a lot I went of from sense. zero and I, I had to like big thirteen or fourteen, and it's like trying to figure out how to set that up, which I think is cool, like these big epic moments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, how about this, then? Um, okay. Interesting. 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 One, two, and then... Okay. All right. All right, all right. I I think I'm here, man. Let's do starting off with Nature's Path Pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. We're going to discard a, war, a blue warrior's valor to generate three resources. And one of them is going to be Nature's Path Pilgrimage. My next weapon attack is plus three. If it hits and I have no cards in my arsenal, I put one there from the top of my deck. Um, then we'll do the Dawn Blade for one. You've seen it before. Mm -hmm. The greatest hits here. And it is your chance to put shields down if you'd like. Six. Okay. Let me make sure that's all I want. Yeah, that's all I want. Attack reaction. 
Mm -hmm. DD stroke of foresight for one. That's a good chain. This is a good chain yeah. here, Wooly. Gains plus two, and if you've defended with a card from your hand, then I get to put a card from my hand on the top or bottom of my deck after drawing. So you get a, if, because of this card, you'll get to put a card in Arsenal that's now empty, and because of this card, you'll get a filter, which is really nice. And now I've actually got potentially even better. I'm going to keep going on these reactions. Okay. So I feel like that's relevant. Um, let's play another stroke of foresight for one. And so that's going to give me an additional plus three. I'm just going to stack these boys up just to show you what I mean. I don't have any go again cards, so I figure I may as well stack them up. So then if these all, these will all essentially kind of resolve down the chain like yep. that. I'm not doing anything else. So I'm just at a six defense. Okay, so six plus three, nine, ten, eleven. What is that? Five? Yep. So if the defending here is defending with a card from their hand, draw a card, then put a card from your hand on the top or bottom. Do I want that? I'll put that on the bottom. Nice. And we'll do it again. Mmm. Top. Sounds like a top kind of oh, card. That's so good. And then I put it in my arsenal, and it's the springboard. Oh, so good. my goodness. Yeah, super good. Ah, the value. OK. All right. Mine? <laughs> yeah, it's yours. It's going uh, to be a simple one. <laughs> I'm going to play an emerging power yellow. Uh, so next round, it'll give my first attack plus two. OK. Very simple. You're a setup boy. Yeah, I'm getting ready. Okay. Interesting. Man, sometimes you just get garbage. <laughs> See, yeah. Uh, See here? <laughs> There's some weird stuff to this, too, that definitely matters. All right, how about this? Um, let's keep the pressure on. Or I could, I could hold for, uh, so here comes two. We'll use a three cost sharpened steel to pay for that. So I've got one floating. Next weapon attack is plus one and go again. Mm -hmm. And then I, that is a driving blade, blue, driving blade. Love the art on that. Uh, so we're at a plus one. And then Dawn Blade's going to get in here for that last resource. And hit, swing at you for four. And it will have go again, no matter if I hit or not. I will do nothing. Well, Take four. Take four. I'm at 29. <clears throat> I got to try again, right? You clearly don't want to spin cards. I mean, or I'd want to save it for your auto go again, where you get the token. Yeah. That I mean, seems... I never want to spend cards. You're right about that. But sometimes you got to do what you, you gotta got to do. You got to do <laughs> what you got to do. Okay, let's just let's just get a card out of your hand. One resource to swing for a second time. For how many? Three. If you let it come through, then you're going to get. I'll block for three. Okay. I don't have anything fancy to do. Make sure that's true. All right. Yeah, it's true. I get plus two from my emerging power. Interesting. Ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use my Bravo, which cost me. Yeah. I have one extra. Bravo uh, action until the end of turn. My attack action cards that cost three or more gain dominate, and, and then I go again. Uh, so one card. You get one card, yeah. And then I'll play this from my arsenal, which mm -hmm. is Cartilage Crush. It's a five plus two, so it's at a seven. You can defend with a single card. If it does four or more, your first action next round costs you a resource. I feel like I should get this thing out of my uh, out of my arsenal. And you're at five, you said. Seven. Seven. Minus four is three. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do. OK. Generic defense reaction for zero. Take three? Yes. Whoosh. And I'll put this in my arsenal. I don't know why I'm counting on both dice. That's weird. Hmm. Just get a 19. Probably trying to confuse me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I know how bad you are with numbers. OK. 
Next up, here we go. Oof. Okay. All right, sometimes you've got turns like this. Um, let's attack, generating one resource. Okay, I'll defend for three. Okay, all right, let's just see what happens here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anxiously waiting. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go Stroke of Foresight plus three. Mm -hmm. Spend a resource to do that. Seen that card before? Yeah. Uh, I'm good. Take three. Take three, and I'll take a look at the top card of my deck. I'm at 32. Here Getting we go. Getting feisty. I'm look behind this in some ways. Ooh, yeah, I want that. And then I'll put this in the archive. I feel like you're doing a good job here. I'm getting there. All right, mine? Yeah. Let's play an emerging power for two. Gain a spare resource. So next round, my first attack is plus three. And then I'll spend three uh, to flip this over. Cartilage Crush, doing seven. If it deals four or more, your first action next round is plus one. So it's just a seven. OK. Hmm. It's just, really it's really nice seven. because like either you take the damage and you lose a resource or is, it kind of makes you want to go ahead and just use a card. Yeah. And it's not a weapon attack, right? No. All right. Well, we'll do it. Um, Steel Blade for six. Okay. So you take one. Yeah. And that effectively got rid of a resource. So that's a good exchange for me. Not bad. All right. All right. Over to me. Um... Let's start with a Driving Blade, Warrior Action. We're going to generate three resources. And so that leaves me with one left. My next attack is plus three and go again on that attack. And then I'll pay one to pull the Dawn Blade out here at plus three. What will he do? You're at six? Mm -hmm. Well, I got to stop it, you know. But I need to look real quick. All right, I'm Scott. This seems like a question I should answer. Uh, curious, but when you guys stream a game like this, what's the purpose? Is it to gauge viewer support for potential product support or just for fun? This is really, we're just kind of showing you our process for how we start to evaluate a game, whether we want to bring it on, try to offer a subscription for it, um, make products for it, those kinds of things. Um, this is literally how it's always worked. Maybe it's a little archaic, but we, <laughs> we just sit down, play it a bunch, talk about it, um, see how it struck us, and then if we really dig it, then we reach out and maybe start to get that, get that started and see, see if we want to support it going down the line. Nice. Uh, you have one card in hand, no resources? One card in hand, no resources. That's correct. I'm going to block with two. I have no response. I take four? <laughs> yeah, take four. I have four health remaining. I have go again. I don't feel so good about this. I'm going to play an energy potion with my go again action. Uh, I can destroy it instantly to gain two resources for the rest of the game. That seems good. Watch out. All right, my first attack is plus three this round. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's play Crush Confidence. You got the confidence? Well, do you, no. do you actually up. have I'm confidence? I'm going to do Bravo Showstopper first. Cost me two. You can only defend uh, with one card. Classic. Then I'm going to Crush Confidence, paying the three. So it is currently an eight, and you can use one card to defend. And if it hits with four or more, your hero text box is blank next round. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ugh. Oh my gosh. How annoying is that? <laughs> um, it's at eight. Eight. And I can spend one card. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I don't, you know what's crazy? I'm going to have to just blow this one. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Potion's gone. 
Oh, man. Shunked it is for six. So you take two? I'll take two. Nice. Well, you got four, right? So I feel like I got to I gotta go. Now it's, now it's my chance. I got four what? Cards? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's start with the Warrior's Valor. Let's generate three resources. One on the Valor. Plus two and go again on the weapon? Yikes. You see a tempo here, right? I just keep doing Blame that exact thing. Yeah. <laughs> one, one for Dawn Blade at five. One remains. It's black for six. <clears throat> Everything's fine. Blocking for six. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's go to eight plus three. What is that? That is a razor reflex red. Thank you. All right, I'm going to take two. Yes. I'm at two health. All right, and I have a go again, but I have no action points. If you didn't make me, I, I could have probably not popped that potion and maybe gotten there. I don't know. It's hard to say. Who's to say, really? Um, all right, mine? Yeah. I'm just going to tuck that in my arsenal and draw. <laughs> You're just turtling up? Don't worry about me. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Let's start with the Nature's Path Pilgrimage for one. Goodness gracious. We're going to... It's like to... you have the same cards in your hand every round. Yeah, I do. I have a lot of them. <laughs> um, let's generate three there. What's an attack? Oh, you're using it as a resource yeah. attack. Um, so plus one, if it hits, I get a free one to the arsenal. My favorite kind of value. And then... <laughs> spend one to go. For four? For four. It's blocked with six. All right, here comes seven. Plus one is eight, and I need to dump this one as well. So I have so one health. One, and then two. Did it work? You did one damage. All right, this to my arsenal. Hmm. Nice. Okay. The prize is interesting. I don't even know if the defending here is defended. All right, so I did three, four, seven, eight, and you did six? Did you block for six? I blocked for six. You would kill me if that's the case. Yeah, you did. Plus one, three and plus one, and then... Wait, what's the plus one? Oh, wait, you're right. Hold on. This one. <laughs> These cards. Plus one, plus three, and then if you defend it with a card, additional plus one. Five, eight. Yeah, that kills me. You did yeah. it. Yeah. Man, I felt like you were schooling me I the was. whole game. That was hardcore aggro. What do you think about that? That was good. The thing I don't know is what, I guess I was using a lot of defensive cards early. Mm -hmm. So you kind of got the tempo. Well, she's the perfect like aggro-y warrior because you just can't let her get a second attack. So I feel like you, you're tempted to want to play defense and then if you can just keep the pressure on, yeah. they can't ever attack. Well, and your weapon is super cheap to use. Yeah. So yeah. you just, it's like you, you yeah. were playing it way more like I feel like you should have been playing it that game. Yeah, that was correct. That was great. So there you go. All right, well, flesh and blood. Zach, quick thoughts. We're going to go uh, uh, do a little uh, recon on Doctor Strange to finish this thing off. But um, thank you guys for watching. That was, that was quite good. Yeah, I think it's super fun. I, I need to see the other cards. Do you want to do but, some deck building? And I need to build some decks. I need to look at it. Let's but do that. I think it was on the curve of like complexity to depth. It is in the right spot. Yeah. 
wherever that's at. It's not overly complex. Once you get the hang of it, it's got this nice, uh, almost like you were saying earlier, tennis vibe, mm -hmm. like swinging back and forth. And I think it's the kind of thing where you think you know what you're doing, and then there's a layer deeper that yeah. I think once that clicks in, it's a whole new game. And that's that's when you know it's in the money spot. So we'll see. I mean, I, I'm interested to check it out. I think there's another layer to you. I think there's a third layer that we'll find after like six when to ten more games. Yeah. Um, and I also think that this is one of those games where when the hero comes out that is like exactly what you want to play, it's going to be killer. Yeah. Absolutely killer. Like Netrunner is the same way. When that runner yeah, comes runner out or that corp comes out and it's yeah. like, this is me, then the game gets really awesome at I, that point. I agree with you on that. So great. I, I'm pleased with this. This is, uh, this is quite good. Um, nice. Thank you, Ian. Thanks for sending this over. We're going to uh, drop this stream out and check out the Doctor Strange Hero Pack. So stick with us for that if you're with us live. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everyone. And until next time, keep playing.